Right, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to Collectory. Right, so pre Halloween stream. Hope you're excited, because I am. Uh, yeah, it should be good. Um, yeah, to wait for people to get on. Sorry, I was a bit late. I was rushing around tonight. So, yeah, there may be people thinking I'm not on. Just one of them things. I, I fell asleep earlier. Mr. Live here, you right, mate? John's live, you right, John? <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep earlier. <clears throat> right, Liam? That's why I missed your stream, actually, Liam. Yeah, I fell asleep again. Typical, 8 o'clock, started falling asleep. Didn't really think about what was going on. Laid down, went to bed for about an hour. Um, yeah, I didn't wake up till 9. Um, and that didn't give me enough time to get ready, basically. Liam said, uh, we'll stand for 30 minutes to an hour. Daniel, he said, hey, you guys. Brandon said, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? A Halloween live stream. Um, that's what I'll be doing for uh, Halloween, if that's what you mean. Joe Green, you're right, Joe? You're a bit late. I told you 9.30, didn't I? <clears throat> I promise you all tomorrow, it will definitely 100% be 9 o'clock. No, uh, shit. Saying it wrong already. <laughs> 10 o'clock, sorry. Tomorrow's will be bang spot on 10 o'clock. Actually, that's what I was going to say. Now most of the mods are on. I think they're all on right now, apart from um, <clears throat> uh, Londinium. Uh, tomorrow, when the live stream's going, I'm not going to be able to talk to people, comment while I'm talking to the camera, because I've set it up a way where I can't do it. Right? Um, all I would say tomorrow, when you mod... Not that you lot do this anyway. Don't don't go to people may be a bit more excitable than normal. Do you know what I mean? Be a bit lax tomorrow. Unless someone's outright being, you know, a proper cunt, basically. Let most things go. I would recommend just deleting. If you if you see anything suspect, just delete it. If they keep doing it, give them a warning and then um time them out and then block them. You know what I mean? Um, tactical's on now, yeah. So, yeah. But I would just say tomorrow don't go too harsh on people because people might be a bit excited. You know what I mean? That's to the mods. Zed, you right, mate? Video base, you right? He says trying to buy an anvil. Oh, on eBay. Nice. Well, but it could be anywhere, can it? Stark, you right, mate? Joe Green said, how's it going? <clears throat> yeah, not bad. Not bad. Just been rushing around. Um, today's been quite a boring day for me. I've been dying for it to be over in all honesty. You know, just one of them weird days where Time, it wasn't a boring day actually, it was an all right day, but time was seemed to be going very slowly. Um, Richard, you're right, mate, you're right, Rich. Things up, are you right? Orion, you're right. Things up, said I just uploaded a food video, I made pickled eggs. All right, I'll check that out. Lone Wolf, that's Sam, ain't it? You're right, Sam. He said, Evening, Mike, how you doing, bro? Just got back from doing Halloween Wild Camp. <clears throat> nice one, did you film it? I, I assume you would have, wouldn't you, Sam? You normally do, wouldn't you? Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, but, uh, uh, any, uh, yeah, anything spooky happen? Tactical pirate, right, mate? So did all the mods hear what I said about moderating tomorrow? I would say tomorrow, go easy. Don't don't be too um, banhammery tomorrow. Because I won't be able to mod for some of it. I'll only be able to moderate while um, the footage is being shown. <clears throat> uh so, yeah, I know most of you are right anyway. But, yeah, I'd say just get rid of the proper trolls. But if there's any regulars getting a bit excited, I'd, I'd say this, hopefully it should be, you know, a good, a good atmosphere. But obviously it's a Saturday night. People may be having a drink. So, yeah, um, I'd just say go easy with people. You lot are all good at modding anyway. Brandon said, will it be scary tomorrow? All depends what scares you, doesn't it? Well, I have to catch up a bit, then I can um, yeah. Have you? I ain't got a pumpkin. John said I'm debating picking up a M. Oh, some Mad Dog 2020 MD 2020. Yes. Do you know what, John? I've got a list of well, not a list. I'll show you. Look at this. Oh, where's it gone? I'm to chuck it, John. No, there it is. <clears throat> That's supposed to say, get MD 2020. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to try and catch up a little bit because I'm missing a lot of comments. The Pagan King, you're right, mate? 
Um, Joe said I should go ask my neighbour if he's still got his gas mask. I need my costume. Yeah, go and get it, Joe. Sam said, yeah, I did film quite a bit. Pagan King said, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good, mate. Darth Dave, you're right, mate. Zed said he's looking forward to it. Tactically, my laser for the crossbow arrived today. They said full-size laser pointer by mistake. Oh, well, um, that neighbour. <laughs> oh, well, pointed that neighbour three streets away. Things up said I'm gearing up for my 80 scene birthday party. Nice one. When you having that one? Tomorrow? Um... Big Ped, right, mate? Oh, by the way, I'm still going to reply to you about the um, email you sent me. I've just, I've been so busy this week, I pretty much knew I probably wouldn't even have time to send you a quiver, even if you bought one. So I've left it a bit till I can actually get you one. But I, I, I will definitely reply, though, uh, Ped. Um, John's live said, if it's um, MD2020, I'm going to be proper hammered. A favourite of mine since I'm poor. Yeah, I used to like that stuff years ago, um, John. It's hard to get now. Ryan said, tried to get the kids a pumpkin today. All sold out. We have got some here, but I haven't actually got one myself. <clears throat> They've managed to get one around here, but we've there's a lot of um, there's quite a lot of farms around here, and there's actually a farm that has like a fucking whole field full of them. After time, they're going bloody um, rotten over here. Yeah, down here. John said, I wish I had a cheap basket weave holster and a bright Hawaiian shirt. And they get the glass. Yes, perfect, John. Lewis, you right, mate? Said, hoping to get some bog roll chucked over my ass tomorrow. <laughs> do they do that much over here? The old, um, what the Americans call TPing. Yeah, TP your house, isn't it? Um, that was nothing we ever used to do. But then our trick or treat, half the time we'd go out, um, no intention of doing any. Um, tricks because all we wanted was and we didn't have no bags or we'd go around go around houses deliberately go down the private roads that didn't have no um <laughs> stuff in the window so literally every, every house that didn't actually want to do trick-or-treating we knew they wouldn't have no sweets go knocking on their door asking for money <laughs> till we had enough to buy an eight for the fucking drawer and then a couple of years later we started putting fireworks on people's doorsteps and window sills but after time we couldn't be bothered so all we wanted was money Zed said the shops are going mad in his area, full of people buying plastic skeletons. Darf said, I'm gearing up for the US election on Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? I was going to say to you about that. What day is it? T2 coin seeker, you right, mate? Good, good, good evening, Mike. Also, good evening, everyone else. Joe said, have you bought anything new? No, well, no, not really. I've got some antler, antler offcuts recently to make some um, Bowie knife handles. But no... Sam said I had a pumpkin, but it died before I got to use it. Died as in you cut up a sword or something, or, or just rotted? Tap said, tomorrow is, uh, to me, tomorrow for me is, that's not pronounced Samhain, is it? Samhain, in it? Um, basically, like you lot's um, New Year's. Yes, I um, Scalagrim, it's, that's the same kind of thing for him as well. Yeah, I know his favourite, you know, and he massively celebrates um, yeah, Halloween. I don't think he even celebrates Christmas, really. But yeah, he's the same. Big Pet said, um, you English lads, uh, no drink the buck fast. <laughs> Glasgow drink. I have had that. Yeah, made in England too. I have had that, but it seems to be quite difficult to get around my area. City of Fig said, looking forward to tomorrow. It should be good, mate. It should be good. So I'm struggling to keep up tonight. Zed said, in one of the shops, two women almost came to blows over a rubber spider. Uh, nice one, thing. He said, I'll make sure to get party footage for the channel. That'd be good. I'd look forward to that. Be nice to see a bit of 80s going on. You know me. I like 80s, same as you. Matt Francis, right, mate? Daft Dave said, take a paper bag of dog shit and set it on fire. Ah, oh, yeah, then knock on the door. Die laughing as they stomp the flames. We've done something similar to that. Jim M. Right, Jim. I liked your other stories tonight. Fucking you know, hell, them noises. If I didn't know what that was, bloody hell. Freaky fucking noises, weren't they? By the way, uh, anyone who's got um, footage in the Halloween special tomorrow, if you want to know around about when your one will be in it, let me know. I can tell you possibly. I sort of know the order. That's about it. And I could probably work out around about where yours would be. I know, you know. <clears throat> I, I think I told you, Jim, yours, didn't I? 
But yeah, if anyone wants to know, let me know. Slingshot said, did you bob for apples in the UK? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when they do like um, the fairs. What, what would American call, to this to my English viewers, what would an American call like a, a fair, what we call a fair? Um, like we have village fates and fairs. Um, yeah, and you do bob and for apple. Lewis said, you noticed a lot of fireworks going off lately. Personally, I haven't. I mean, I'm deaf as fuck, Lewis, so I might just not have noticed. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Anyone else? City Fig said yes. D2 said to Darth Dave, we did that back in the day. Still laughing when I think about it. JBO bits and bobs, right, Jim? Good to see you on, mate. Jim said, glad I moved away about a week after hearing those noises. Dave was freaky, man. I watched that video and that fucking really weird noises in it, like like nothing you've ever heard. A carnival, City Fig. Thank you, mate. Do you know what slingshot? He said, with Bob for apples at Halloween parties. I bet people in the UK probably do do that as well. Matt said, I sold my Remington CO2 1911 today and got a wire arc HW45. It's a beast, Mike. Did you ever get yours back? No, no, I sold mine. It's the good gun. I just couldn't ever get on with it. You know, what's your video on one? They are, I'll tell you what, they are really good, high quality guns. But for some reason, I could never really get on with shooting it. The sight's just, I could never hit anything with it. Yeah, thank you for everyone saying about um, the, yeah, the Halloween stuff tomorrow. It should be really good, I think. I hope you all enjoy it. It's going to be a long one, um, over two and a half hours. But then again, you know, we do three hours. We used to do three-hour streams before, didn't I? So, yeah, so just be prepared for that. Tactical said, watched um, Liz the telekinetic powers. Burst out laughing when the iron flowed. Oh, yes. The Halfling is Dark Place. Yeah, did, did you like it, um, Tactical? You know what? That is genuinely my favourite TV show ever. And I don't think anything will ever top that. Just one series. Um, yeah, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Amazing. D did you like it, Tactical? I thought you would. Especially if you like them trailers you sent me. It's like a series of that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Renwick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place is genuinely my favourite fucking thing. Um... Yep, yours is in there, Slingshot. I can't. I'll, I'll find out when that was if you want. When yours will be on it. On it. Like, I can try and work it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, the floating irons. Uh, Zed said, Jim, I think I might know what your Will of the Wisp thing might have been. I won't tell you though, because you don't want to know. Ha <laughs> ha! <For> sake. <laughs> yeah. Did you like it, Tactical? Well, obviously you did. If you like that, see if you can find Man to Man with Dean Lerner. Man to Man with Dean Lerner. It's obviously Dean Lerner from, from um, that. Uh, he's been given his own... Um, he was given his own um, chat show. But he has... One of the episodes is on Garth Marenghi, and all the other characters are done by the bloke who plays Garth Marenghi, Matt Holness. Uh, but, yeah, you get, like, an extra... Um, Garth Rengi bit out of it. Yeah, the whole series of Man to Man is very good. That's sort of set in that time. It's just it's a really crap sort of talk show instead. Rich said, won't be able to watch the Halloween stream. I'm out of that time. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Well, you can always watch it the next day, can't you? Um, what's my best gun? Probably my either my BSA Lightning or my Webley Stingray Deluxe. Big Pred said, how's your um, old boy's memorial? Collage coming on, mate. Be nice to see it. I've got to get some pictures. I'm struggling to get the pictures for it. I should get some soon, though. Um, I'm trying to get the one with him with this shotgun. There's a picture of him holding a shotgun that I wanted on it. Um, I'm going to keep trying to get it. But yeah, that's all I need. And then I'll, I'll, I'll give you lot a, a look at it. City of Figs said Bobbin has ties to Roman, Britain, and Celtic traditions. Halloween itself is a mix of Celtic and pagan. You know what, City of Figs, when he said Bobbin for apples, do we do it? I probably I thought to myself, that probably originated over here or has been over here for you know a thousand years. Joseph, you're right, mate. He said there's plenty of fireworks going off here. Place stinks of sulfur. Yeah, I've not noticed any around here, you know. None at all. But as I say, I'm deaf, so might not have noticed. Jamie, you're right, mate. 
Yeah. How's your week been? Not bad, not bad. She said, my missus scrapped my brain gun today. <laughs> uh, she got a case of beer to apologise for. It. Well, there you go. You've got some beer out of it. What, where, where was it? On the metal of words. You might better get it out. Jim said, I suspect you're about to crack a bad joke. That's the Zed, I imagine. Uh, oh, Zed said, I think it could have been ball lightning. Joe said, I don't think I can watch it tomorrow. Uh, I'll be trick-or-treating time uh, when you do it for me. That's all right, mate. You can always watch it again. You know, not watch it again, watch it later. Um, yeah. I think you lot are, are going to enjoy it. Matt said, Mike, have you already talked about the weapon build challenge? I'm no good thing, with things like that. No, I've not well, I've not mentioned it tonight. Um, cause that's 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 been going all year. That as you can do anything for that, though, as long as what you make costs you less than 10 quid, basically. Oh, did you not see um Shed Ninja did a video for that? It's excellent. Jim said, Oh yeah, I know I know it could have been, but so close to the ground. This is a video Jim put on of his paranormal um experiences he's had to. Jim M there, go and search his channel. Uh, yeah, you find it. Slingshot said I bought a really big duffel bag for my uh, big gear. Coming soon in the mail. Noah said, whatever happened to those videos you find in the blank Desert Eagle? I was thinking of doing the same on the fifth. Uh, I definitely haven't deleted them. I may have hidden. I can't remember what it was, Lewis. There was something. Is it not on there now? Um I can't remember what it was. Now, something going on. Maybe it was when they started this shit. I got a bit worried about shooting guns just for a little bit, so I hid a few videos. The same as I once hid some of my body armor videos when they was having that weird thing with George Sprav saying he was showing people how to... Based, you know, paper, paper saying he was basically telling people how to kill the police. Um, I hid some videos. So maybe I've just done that and never put them back on. I forgot about that, Lewis. Yeah, that's worth doing. Worth doing on, yeah, the fear for, um, or even Halloween, potentially, I suppose. Uh, Sam says, pretty quiet where we are now. We've, oh, you moved, have you? When was that? Very recently. See if fix. I'm looking forward to Guy Fawkes one fire night in November. Wonder how many kids get to make a guy now. Yeah, I'll tell you what. In you know, I'm forty. I've never made a guy. I don't think. Um, guy thoughts of people who don't know. Um, and then you burn it on a fire. Um, but I'll tell you what, though. Now, now there's this sounds terrible, but now there seems to be less bother up my village, which in my day was probably caused by me. Um, They've bought back a lot of stuff because, you know, they never used to have anything up the village because it would just get sort of smashed up or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've noticed that now they, they, they do a lot more stuff now and they've got nice signs up that, you know, they probably have got kicked over and shit. Yeah, I think they do a lot more stuff now. My old man, 61, you right, my old man? Good to see you on, mate. Yes, you're all ready for tomorrow. I am. I can't wait. Should be very good. It's a long one, did you see? I don't know definitely, but I've worked it out. I reckon it'll be about yeah, two two hours forty minutes. Um, uh, Sam said he moved Sunday. Liam said, "Don't make a Grenfell guy." That didn't go well. Fuck's sake, I know. <laughs> what did that bloke actually get nicked for that in the end? Slingshot said to Joe, "This one can hold my crossbow and full auto BB gun." Lewis said, I've got an obsolete revolver that can take modern blanks. Police said they have no issue with it, as long as I'm not letting it off at four in the morning. Oh, that's good, Lewis. I didn't know you could. Oh, that's decent, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my teeth are a bit funny. Um, I have to brush my teeth before I come on. Yeah. Uh, I never thought about that. Yeah, because, yeah, I, you know what? That never crossed my mind. But, of course, yeah, they're obsolete. Guns are fully working, aren't they? And you're only shooting blanks out of them. Tactical said, we dressed my mate up as a guy. And the drunk gave us 10p. Picked him up. <laughs> Grapped himself. <laughs> when, my, when my mate <laughs> went holy. That's sad. Uh, Joe said, the ones I have are US military issue. 
Sam said, finally on the ground floor. I was in a high rise. Yeah, I wouldn't have liked that. I'd like to. Yeah, I'd never want to live in a high rise. I know people don't have a choice a lot of the time. Wolf said, right, mate. Good to see you on. Ryan said, when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to do penny for a guy. I remember my dad telling me his friend dressed up as a guy. And he got stabbed back in six fucks. Sake. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet that's an issue. You know, people not thinking what they're doing. Matt said, I always wondered on the wall behind you, above your crossbow, what are the pistols to the right? Um, not the revolvers. So, hang on, where do you mean? What, here do you mean, these ones? Um, that's a load of revolvers, that's some automatics. That's a, that's a, 32 shot CO2 air pistol. That's a BB gun. That's a eight shot air pistol. That's a replica 1911. That's I still remember as a kid making that much doing penny for a guy. My mum borrowed something for Siggy money. <laughs> oh, I've just got to do something quickly. Yeah, we never used to do penny for a guy. Although, had we thought about it, we might have. But yeah, they never used to seem to do that round here. Not bad. Sing shot to, uh, to Joe. The one I bought is an outdoor bag, um, water resistant. Don't forget to get your uh, merchandise. And also, I know see our mods have been a bit. Um, Slow tonight, or is it not working? Or have I just not noticed it? My man said it'd be a tenner for a guy now. I bet it fucking would. You mad? Yeah, or at least a quid. Yeah, as you know, fucking quid a go. Yeah, help me. I'm tempted to go out now. I'll get the kids to come with me tomorrow. No, I can't. <laughs> I end tomorrow anyway, is it? It's fucking um, <laughs> the fifth. Yeah. Yeah, getting ahead of myself there. Yeah, tempted now. <laughs> Take fucking Zomba out. There you go. I was kidding about the mods being uh, slow tonight with the things. <laughs> now it's going mad with them. <laughs> Filled the chat up with fucking thingies. But yes, yeah, I'm tempted now. Ryan said, City of Figs, yeah, really funny about me and my brother doing trick-or-treating too. Yeah, I suppose it depends where you come from, don't it? Yeah, in London, I wouldn't want kids going out doing it, um, depending on the age and where you are. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. It was all right around our area. And um, I'd be honest with you, I never had any interest in trick-or-treating. I don't think I'd ever been trick-or-treating as like a kid. No one ever took me out doing it. As far as I remember... Just wasn't a thing in my house. Didn't even think about it. Until I got to about the age of 12, you know, in secondary school. And obviously other teenagers saying, yeah, let's go trick-or-treating. And I thought, yeah, money for uh, money for booze and drugs. <laughs> didn't used to, we did, didn't even used to go in fucking um, costumes. But we used to have one person in the costume. Wolf said, if that was you, just bought me another two coffees. Thank you. That was the um, donation thing. Don't anyone feel like they have to do that? But cheers, mate. That just popped up. I think that's from tonight anyway. I actually looked. It just, just popped up. Singing Shot said, you should have done some pumpkin destruction, mate. I couldn't get any. Um... Yeah, I couldn't get any. Although I'll probably better do what I normally do, a late one. So Sunday, I'll probably do a bit of pumpkin cutting then. So I'll do a, a late, you know, we'll, we'll do, this is the pre-Halloween stream. And we'll live, when then we'll do the Halloween stream, and then we'll have a, a post come down um, mellow pumpkin cutting video to settle our nerves. Is that all right? Lewis said kids used to get mugged for their sweets in um, Bootle back in there. I can imagine. I can imagine. Matt said, you always get that one person that give an apple as a treat. Yes. 
Well, as I said, what we used to do, we used to deliberately go down the private roads, the posh private roads that didn't have no um, pumpkins out. Because, you know, obviously if a house has got pumpkins, they're, they're welcome to used to come in, you know. That's what we get so many here because we, my niece and nephew, you know, they want to do all that. So I don't mind a kid, other kids coming around here doing trick or treating because most of the people who come around here, I know them anyway. And, you know, I talk to their mums and that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, we used to deliberately go down the houses where none of that was going on. And, uh, yeah, knowing that they wouldn't have nothing to give you. But, yeah, they'd give you fucking apples. Ryan said, in Suffolk now, not so bad up here, uh, but don't like my kids going out doing it. Still a few eggs, bad eggs about. Exactly. You do want to be careful. Thank you, Wolf, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah, he, he, that was him. Bought, bought me a coffee, as it says. My old man said a good old healthy granola bar for the kids. Yeah, it'd get you egged, exactly. Fuck's sake. Thingshot said, that video you put up with the metal straws has inspired me to make panda dots. Oh, there you go. I'm glad. I am glad um, Shed Ninja inspired you. Good old Shed Ninja. I don't know how many of you that would know Shed Ninja, but he was a regular, um, and then he, he didn't want to do YouTube anymore. But he's a good bloke. Um... I still talk to him a bit through emails and um, Cocoscope, which was another website we both joined. But yeah, I think he thought that one was too good to um, not go on there. <laughs> that was all chatting the mums up, smooth operator. Exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. Joseph said, the nearest I get to a party in these days is two Cocoa Mark, two Cocoa Mark after training. <laughs> Ah, good. Are you right, mate? He says, anybody called the police on you due to your collection? No. No no one's... I've never... Although my house has been raided about six times in 20 years, it's never been for my weapons, ever. Never, ever. Save it, Goose. What's up? You right, mate? The officer said I need to get a pumpkin to try my screw tip pistol box I got from um, Custom Pistol Box. They're badass, man. I've got the Broadheads and Bodkins on. Ah, nice. Yeah, they're good, aren't they, them box? Probably worth doing what you said. Get another one. Get another crossbow. Set it up just to shoot them. Oh, thank you, Jim, as well. Jim's just bought me about five coffees by the looks of it. Okay, now, thank you, Jim. I think that's Jim, anyway. Yes. There they are. Thank you, Jim. They're just popping up. I'm getting notifications popping up. But all of that stuff massively ups, because, yeah... Because as you not know, I don't actually, this is my job and I don't get paid for it. I don't sign on either. People think that's mad I don't sign on, but I don't know. It's too much bother for me. Sydney, you right, mate? My old man said, I think I did a blow dart video using bamboo skewers and cotton wool. Yeah, that rings a bell, actually. Yeah, that sounds like that would work, though. Although technically that would even be illegal nowadays. Kyle the Dalek, you're right, mate. Slingshot said I tested my pistol crossbow on a pumpkin. Yeah, I saw that, didn't I? Ah, oh, good, said. What day's the live stream? Hang on, hang on, all right. If we're going about the live stream, I better put the fucking link on, didn't I? Because you can, um, you can, what I recommend you all doing is. Oh, hang on. Here's the link for tomorrow's, um, <laughs> Fucking hell, Lewis. <laughs> and Lewis has gone even higher now. Lewis has bought me 12 coffees. Fucking hell, Lewis. Thank you. Sake. Well, I've made my week that has, I tell you. All of you, you know, thank you. Bloody hell. Right, here is the link for tomorrow's live stream. Click that and click reminder. Um... So if it said, I'm pretty um, I'm pretty good, just bought a crossbow. A oh, nice one. Nick's Knives, you right, mate? And he said, why was your house raided if not for weapons? <sighs> There's always some excuse. They normally claim stolen tools. Um, been no end of stuff. I think they just 
I think they just get these fucking warrants, take them to a magistrate, and the, the magistrate just says yes because of like past history of my family. Um, last time I got raided was 2017, November 2017, so not that long ago. Old man said, Yeah, fair cop, girl, yeah, exactly. Oh, and they've never convicted anyone of any crimes either, all the times they've done it. Sydney said, have you seen the Denix Thompson 1928? I don't think I have. Right, so don't forget to click that link if you um want to get a reminder. Yeah, bloody hell. I've had 34 coffees bought for me. They say coffees. It's just like a one-off donation. Um, you can go as low as one coffee would be two quid. <laughs> Oh, Electro just brought me one. Is he on? I've not seen him on. Thank you, Electro. You must just be watching. Cheers, right? Lewis said normally they normally when their arrest rates are low, they'll harass people with history. I hope they get lucky. That's I reckon that's what it is, Lewis. Because it's very weird. It seems to be about every four or five years. And it always tends to be, I'll tell you the other weirdest thing about it, always seems to be one older policeman. And a load of like look what looks like new recruits, like like they're taking them up on a training fucking um like their first job or something. Big B said, I'm surprised I haven't been raided. I've literally carried a crossbow through my street. For fuck's sake, don't say that. Lewis said, learnt that one from a solicitor always used to chase them out of court. Oh nice. I'm gonna have to do that one day. Um my dad nearly did it the last time. But because they took so many of his tools, he had to fucking wait until he, you know, got back before he wanted to risk taking them to court. Um, but yeah, yeah, especially yeah, you know, Big Ped said, uh, "Just seeing one of your videos the other day, and you making a sword. Was impressed of your shed, mate. Uh, you should, you should uh, do a video of your setup." Looking to get a shipping container for the back and making a man cave. Yeah, that'd be excellent. I'll have to do that one day. Yeah, I'll show you lot some of the stuff I've got. Um, yeah, it's good having a decent shed, I tell you, especially if you like making things like I do. Nick's knife said you um you want to be absolutely buzzing with all that caffeine. <laughs> yes. I'll show you, but tip it too far. <laughs> I need it sometimes. Um, tactical said, yeah, you're training the fires. It fucking seems like it sometimes. <laughs> but I might have to get, you know, get hold of someone next time and say, you know, someone needs to fucking have a word about this because it's taking a piss now. Have I seen hot fires? Yes, I have. But I've only ever seen it once, you know. Because out of Edgar Wright and Simon Pegg and Nick Frost's films... That wasn't my favourite. I like um, Shaun of the Dead, though. But Hot Fuzz is good. But, um, yeah, it just it didn't do as much for me as like Hot Fuzz or even Spaced. I like Spaced. That was good. Yeah, ha ha yeah, hello, Halloween. Hello, Pumpkin. Now, you're right, Carl. Did you notice I had a severed hand in the... Um, it's technically my hand, but it grew back. Do you know what? I've not seen Paul, but I, um, I've um i seen a little bit of that once when I was hungover, Sam, and I thought it looked quite good. I've not seen the pub one either. Yeah. By the way, everyone who's been buying me coffee, yeah. Oh, no, that's what you was on about when he said you're going to be absolutely buzzing with all this caffeine. Yes, Nick, that's it. Yes, he meant that. Yeah, not that, but... <laughs> yes, the, 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 the coffee. Yeah, it's... Kofi.com. I'm assuming you're supposed to pronounce it coffee. Oh, Orion bought me one. That's weird. Well, thank you, Orion. That must have been you then. That's weird. That's very strange. Um, thank you, Orion. Uh, I'll tell you why that's strange. The name that came up was the same as one of my um my other uh subscribers. Very weird. But yeah, anyone who's bought me a what it is, when you buy me a coffee, it's just sending me money to my PayPal, basically, to fund um, 
fund the videos, basically, because I don't get I don't get no ad money. I ain't get nothing. Carl said, is there a limit on how much stuff you can own? As I've seen various reports of people getting in trouble for owning a lot or too much. They say the amount was concerning. I think it depends what you're like and what you've got. If you've got, like me, absolutely every single thing in your house is legal, they can't do nothing anyway. What happens is most of the time when you find out these people who have got concerning amounts of weapons have have also been found with a live firearm and, and bullets. So it's just an excuse to nick them for, not an excuse, but they could nick them for that and then take all the other lot. You know what I mean? I don't own a single thing that would be any issue with the police, so they'd have a good job trying to take it off me um, when there's no crimes going on. I'd be prepared to go to court for it and because I'd just do a crowdfunding thing because I've... I've I reckon people would help me. But I know what you mean, though. You do see that thing about, yeah, concerning amounts of of stuff. Big Pet said, Pierce, if you can't do the coffee for um, troops, the shop is there and easy. Oh, yeah, and the hoodies. Yeah, thank you. But, yeah, and the hoodies, exactly. Things that said, are you going to make a metal reinforced quarter staff? One day, one day. Yeah, I do like American Dad and Family Guy. Joseph said, what's that Simon Peck called Inheritance? Not bad thriller. All right, I'll check that out. Matt, so I need to stop smoking so much. It helps with my Crohn's disease. Mike, what's your favourite type of weapon? That's not hard for me. Knuckle dusters and brass knuckles. Yeah. And I can't even own them. But that, you know, that'll give you a bit of a clue. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, brass knuckle dusters was, as they're called, really. But yeah, brass knuckles, knuckle dusters, love them. T2 said, A mate of mine is JP, and every time I go see him for advice, he says to me, um, It's the facts, nothing else. Uh, forget the hearsay and accusations. Exactly, mate. Exactly. Ryan said, Got them all, great films. I haven't seen Space. Space is excellent. That's the first thing they did. Yeah, Space is. Very good, absolutely full of film um, references and like even like ripping off scenes and yeah, it's really good actually. I think you'd like that if you like all their other stuff. You'd love um, Spaced. Matt said, "Nice, you can't own any." I have some came from Spain. Brass knuckles are actually illegal to own in the UK now. Yes, own. So I butterfly knives. I don't like saying it because you know I mean? there are a lot of people who've got them. I won't go too far into this, but put it this way. All of the things that were on the offensive weapons list are now banned to own. But if you never, ever think the police are going to come around your house, I don't know how they'd ever know you had them anyway. But I have the police come around my house, so... I can't risk having anything like that because they just they they'd nick me for that and then take the rest, wouldn't they? So yeah. Lewis said most people don't even know they're illegal. That's it, they don't. You'd be surprised how many people, yeah. No, hardly anyone knows Lewis. I think the only people who know is from my video. Lewis said, What do you think of the second series? Um what we do in the shadows. I've not watched it yet, Zed. Um, what do you think of it? I've not watched it yet. i you know what? I've hardly watched any telly. For ages. Uh, Ravi Ninja, right, mate? He said, do you... Did you know Wish is selling zombie knives? That don't surprise me. I bet they sell everything on there apart from firearms. <laughs> but I have heard... I heard... I was listening to Radio 4 one night, well, day. Irishman, you're right, man? And they said... They was talking about Wish specifically because Wish had sold, like, some 13-year-old kid a knife and the parent had found out. So this fucking channel, uh, this program on um, Radio 4, I think it might have been fucking Women's Hour or something, uh, <laughs> got hold of Customs and was talking to them about Wish, and UK Customs said they're now checking every single um, package that comes into the country that is from Wish. Nick's Knives said, I've literally seen bags of um, certain substances on Wish. Yeah, well, there you go, mad, isn't it? Jamie said, Mike, with Christmas coming up, what would you most like to find under the tree? Um, 
<laughs> I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. I'll have to think about that one, Jamie. I don't know. So I'm one of them who sort of makes most of the things they want or gets it themselves. Um, I have asked for some DVDs. <laughs> I don't know. Or do you mean like fantasy, you know? Lewis said, wish I'd get any bother in America for selling firearm components listed as things like oil filters. Are you saying that? I saw that, yeah. Uh, I think said, I never really liked butterfly knives, prefer switchblades or jackknives. Yeah, I've always liked, sorry if I keep doing this, it's because my ear's playing up and I have to keep popping it. Um, yeah, doing my head in. Uh, what was I going to say? I always liked switchblades, you know, flip knives, but again, they're illegal now. Ravi said... What they what they do now is get it delivered to another country, I think, before sending it here. Yeah, that's what that's what you'd have to do. Stug said, I would like to find a nice bag of cash. Well, I was thinking that. Dad said, a mate of mine set his sleeve alight by mistake once. The police did him for having an, an unlicensed firearm. Ah, fuck's sake, Zed. Well, it was relevant, so... I'll give you a thumbs up for that one. Bob, right, Bob, good to see you on, mate. How are you doing at the minute? I've been watching your videos lately. I've not had a chance to comment on them. Um, your comment, your, your video about privacy, I found very interesting. I'm very similar to that. Although I show my face on camera, because I sort of can't not now. You know what I mean? Too late. But I I do exactly what you say. Never show, Never show the front of my house. Never show out the front. Um, then I was thinking, is that is that another one, or is that? Yeah, you have to be very careful nowadays, don't you, Bob? A good to you on, mate. So I'm still here scratching something. Seeing shots, and I'd love to send you a paintball pistol, Mike. We'll have to talk about that. Sling shot. Um, I'd be up for that. I trust you. I've known you long enough. Here's a bit of advice for people. I don't mean this in a bad way, right? Thank you, Lewis. Bloody hell. You are, I think you are spoiling me tonight. Fucking hell. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Bloody hell. Um, well, thank you, Lewis. I massively appreciate that. Yeah, That generally means a hell of a lot. Um, what's I going to say? Oh... The thing with sending things to me, right, I would accept most things. The issue is because of the doxing issues and people getting blocked and they're making fake accounts, you never really know who you're talking to unless they do videos. And that's that's the difference with me. I, I've had to promise myself, unless you've been talking to me since like the beginning of YouTube, um, I can really only ever accept things being sent to me by someone who does videos because there's at least some kind of comeback then. You know what I mean? I know what you look like at least. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That sounds terrible. But when it's just a name, no picture, no nothing, no videos, and literally no comeback, is there, if something went wrong? Um, and also with videos, I know, I know what you look like. I know the kind of person you are. Does that make sense? But yeah, I, I just thought I'd say that because I get a lot of offers and I have to say no. And I, I do feel a little bit guilty because it's someone just trying to be nice. But for my own sort of safety, I have to say, not my safety, but, you know, um, yeah, a lot of times I have to say no if they don't, do, you know. But yeah, if someone does videos, you're a lot more likely for me to say, yes, you can send me something because I know who you are. Does that make sense? Um. I'll right, try and catch up quickly. Um, Ravi said, it's quite interesting, all these markets like AliExpress and Wish. I was a mate of mine had his arm ripped off at a, by an ape at a zoo. He was done for supplying arms to gorillas. For that sake. <laughs> oh, God. Bob said, yes, Mike, we are similar. I can get docked since I live in Seattle area. Um, yeah. Big Pedro is make a law where you can collect old weapons if you declare what you have. Well, exactly. Well, if you can get brass knuckles over 100 years old, you can still have them. 
But yeah, it's very annoying, isn't it? Bob said, Mike and I have been sub since 2009. Yeah, exactly. You're you're one of the proper old ones, aren't you, um, Bob? Yeah, I've known you on here for years. But that's the thing. When you can when you can see videos of someone, you, you sort of know who they are, what they're like, and at least there's a bit of a comeback because you also know what they look like. So you can at least pass that on to someone saying, like, that's what they look like. <laughs> but there's too many times when there's literally nothing and... I do sort of, you know, I do trust the person, but you don't never know. Things like, I like your videos on prepping foods, Bob. I have a similar video up. Archetub, right, mate? And he said, need to put myself on video at some point. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only issue with me, and I'm also quite a paranoid person. Um, but yeah, it's either that. I did think another way to do it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel right doing this. Get him, do what websites do. You got to send your ID in first. <laughs> but then you could, you could fake that, though, couldn't you? Matt, so I don't have any videos on my YouTube page. I need to upload something. Maybe my new HW45. But, yeah, I would say to people, don't ever take it personally. If, if you ever say to me, oh, I'd like to send you something, Mike, and I, I sort of skirt around it not saying yes, it's purely because I, I've promised myself if someone's going to send me something, I have to know what they look like and a bit about them just to cover myself. <laughs> Jamie said, I'll send you the grin. I'll send you my brand gun to you. All right, get, send, send us your ID. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Snarf said, I've been watching, I've been wanting to make videos of collecting, but I can never be asked. Now, I don't blame you, mate. You know, some people just don't want to do videos, isn't it? Stug said, Will you be getting any more deactivated firearms or replicas in the future? If if I started making a decent amount of money somehow, Stug, I would, yeah. Um, yeah, at the minute, I could never afford like anything like that. To it, it, I wouldn't be able to afford that kind of money. You know what I mean? Sort of throw away money, if that makes sense. I know you get a bit of investment, but then all that stuff's bloody essentially worthless at the minute. Um, not all of it, but quite a lot of it is. Um, but yeah, I'd never say no. There's always diats I would like. Um, but yeah, at the minute, I'd just even I'd have to have like a regular income. Lion Sky, you're right, mate. So I nearly missed you there. Hello, anyone else who's just come on? Big B said, "Don't worry, mate. It's too fucking skint to send you anything." <laughs> Ravi said, where did you get your deactivators from? I get most of mine from um, Worldwide Arms Limited. But those two shotguns I got off a bloke called English Armoury or something like that years and years and years ago out the back of a paper or gun mart. And they were something like 60 and 40 quid or something like that or 80 and 60 quid. Really cheap. Shot said that was the year I was born, Bob. Oh, what 1980? What was Bob saying about 1980 then? Oh, Bob said I'm uploading a ghost story from 1980. Do you know what, Bob? I wanted to use one of yours for my video, um, for my live stream, but uh, because of the issue I was having, I, I didn't bother saying because I thought it might be too much sort of bother at the minute. Um, because of you know, it doesn't matter anyway. I look forward to seeing that, um, Bob. I know one of yours, that one from that bloody one from your house when you lived in that haunted house was horrible. <laughs> if you want a proper, yeah, it, it's, you won't, I don't think Bob's got it on there now, but he told us, you know, a story about when he lived in a, when his house was haunted, basically, or something. Oh, that would have done my head in. Matt said, I reckon your collection is worth loads, mate. Uh, it looks good, though. And, um, Took a while to collect. Yeah, that's a good lot of money's worth there over the years. That's got to be um, 25 years worth of collecting, probably. That's not even all of it. There's loads more than that. There's probably that again and that, that and that again. Um, that's just the best stuff. Um, and I have had other stuff and sold it. Um, yeah. The only issue is some of the deacts you can't sell or even give to someone until they've been deactivated to current specifications. Bob said, no problem, Mike. I made a video from 2018. I might re-upload it. 
I have it on private. Yeah, that I was going to ask for that, Bob, but because of what you was going through at the time, I thought I won't bother I'll, because. Um, but what I would have done, I can't remember if you were talking on camera. I would have edited. It. I would have edited you out of it, changed your voice, and put her um put pictures on. But it doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, I like that story enough to want to include it. I've been so busy lately. I, I probably would have asked, but forgot. <laughs> Jamie said, "Gonna make a video of all my World War Two collection one day." Yeah, that sounds excellent because I've seen some of your um, collection. It's fucking decent, Jamie. Uh, Jamie, you should do that. Big B said, "Unemployment shit though." Um, job centre helped me find a job. Turns out it's an unpaid internship, three hundred pound a month. Isn't enough dealing with all the shit. That's why I don't sign on because there's two issues with it, right? If I signed on, they would try to make me get a job. Right, if I wanted a job, I could get a job tomorrow if I wanted a job. Because I could just build, do any kind of building site kind of job. Or loads of jobs I could do. Um, and there's plenty of jobs about. The issue is, I, I'm in a situation where it's better for my household if I don't work. It means I don't get nothing. But yeah, and then if I did get a job through fucking job seekers, there'd be barely any YouTube... So, yeah, although I ain't got no money, it works out better for everyone in a way, apart from me. <laughs> but I can just about live like that. Big Dave, you're right, mate. Irishman said, um, has anyone watched the phenomenon yet? I haven't, Irishman, no. Matt said, um, do you use Facebook, Mike? I've got a weapon collector Facebook, yeah. I can give you the link to that if you want. Thank you, everyone, who's been donating tonight. So, Lewis, Orion, Lewis again, Wolf said again, Flazzy from the other day. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Unless that was Dave who did it. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. What was I going to do with Facebook? Let me get my Facebook link quickly. My weapon collector Facebook. I'm also on Instagram now as well. I, I have to have all these things because... Um, it's the best way for me to share um, my videos because YouTube don't. Joseph, I have a lot of Vietnam and 80s gear. Big beach. I'm fresh out of college with a certificate that means fucking nothing. I'm fucked, basically. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Sorry for jumping in, but Dole sent me from Newcastle to Hailing Island to work on a holiday camp just for Dole money. It was a nightmare. That sounds like fucking hell. That sounds like hell. Zed said, can't you get a carer's allowance? Potentially, but I doubt it. I'll tell you what, my, one of my friends, when his dad was dying and he was the only person looking after his dad, they wouldn't even give him a carer's allowance. His dad was literally dying of cancer. Um, yeah. It, it, so I doubt I'd get it. But yeah, I don't know. Um, potentially, Zed. Um and then, I don't know, I think at least your cares, like, you don't have to keep going places to get it, do you? But at the minute, it just it don't work for me. Sparrow, you right, mate? Um, T2 said, was in the shower earlier. Sharon walked up the stairs and went into the bedroom. Got out the shower, went downstairs, poured a drink, and Sharon walked through the door. Uh, <laughs> proper freaked me out, I bet that worked. I walked through the front door. I walked, so she was upstairs. <laughs> and then, oh, that's bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, but that would make you think, what the fuck? I'll go mad. Tactical said, um, Dole has me working as interns for some scuffed marketing company. No pay, by the way. Yeah, fuck that. Big Dave said, Zach Baggins' Demon House documentary was good. <laughs> Don't forget, everyone, I have got a live stream tomorrow, nearly three hours long. Get on there, um, click this link and set the reminder so you don't miss it. James McFadden, you're right, mate. Good evening, Mike. If you don't sign on, then you won't be paying into your state pension or paying your stamp. Well, I have paid some. It's not like I've never worked. But, yeah, I know what you mean. That often gets brought up. Um, although and I've also had that discussion. Um, sure, I know you'd have to, you'd probably get the minimum possible, wouldn't you? But, um I don't suppose they'd let you starve to death, would they? But yeah, that's a good point. 
I, I have had people say that to me. Matt said, I commented on your last post on Facebook, so I know, do you know what I look like? Oh, nice one, Matt. All right, nice one. Actually, I've got a notification, yeah. Dax said, I know Big B, it's a joke, isn't it? I hope you at least get a job out of it. Um, Ryan said, I did send one earlier. Yeah, thank you for all the people who have been, been doing that one-off donation support things. It's been, yeah, lucky now. Yeah, you lot have made, probably made my year doing that, in all honesty. <sighs> Singshot said, I know medieval you, I know medieval you could do, Mike, the Guten Tag. What's that? <laughs> I can ask Singshot. I didn't understand any of that. Oh, Sam said he's on a carer's allowance. Yeah, I literally get nothing from the government at all. Nothing. Um, yeah, any any income I get is purely selling things like um, quivers, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, and very kind donations off people and, you know, people who follow me on um, Patreon and that. It, it, I'll tell you what, though, you lot have made a big big difference to the channel uh if it wasn't for you lot that gun board and that gun board wouldn't have got put up um i've got a better camera through it yeah it's made a lot of, it's made a big difference lion sky so i want to buy a crossbow can you recommend a good crossbow for me do you want a pistol crossbow or a rifle crossbow if you want a pistol crossbow get a horizon red back or get a tomcat too but i think they're hard to get <laughs> Tactical said, shame, Big B. Um, good look anyway, and it's experience under your belt. Yeah, at least you get an experience. Tavara said, have you looked into Etsy anymore, Mike? You open a shop on there, and I reckon there's big income for your gear. Um, I haven't yet, but that'll definitely be an option one day. Um, half of my issue is just getting around to a lot of things. Because these, these could go on eBay. Um it's just doing it. At the minute, it's easier for me to just go, do you want some? Because <laughs> every time, if I do a video, say if I did a, did a video on Quivers tomorrow, I'd probably sell 10 in a week then. Because um, it's a nice, fresh video that gets shared again. Um, same with them. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish off everything, do one big video of all the, um, of the Quivers, the bolts, all that kind of stuff. And hopefully all that stuff will probably sell that day. There's my Instagram, Ryan. I've only been on there about less than a month. I had to do Weapon Collector Mike on there. James said, I'm gutted, Mike. Can't join the stream on Saturdays due to working nights. Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame, mate. Um, hopefully you'll... Um... Oh, you can always watch it next day. Seeing such said, an awesome weapon to build. would be a big wooden mallet. Now that I could do. Carl said, how did you make your board? How much weight can it take? I don't know how much weight it can take. Hopefully that and probably double it. I ain't got an eBay store, Joe, but one day I might sort one out. It'll be a weapon collector if it is. Um, that is something like 12 mil ply, hardwood ply, I think. 12 mil hardwood ply, um, four foot by seven foot. It's got 16... Um, four inch bolts holding it to the wall because I do not want that fucking thing falling on me when I'm sitting on that sofa. That's also why it ends where it ends because my bed's there. I ain't having nothing falling on me in my fucking sleep. Um, yeah, so it's got 16 four inch bolts holding that fucker up. Um, yeah, and I've got very solid walls as well, they're like proper brick walls there. Singshot said the Guten Tar is a medieval weapon. I've never heard of that one, Singshot. Let me have a quick look. Nothing's coming up at the minute. Matt said, do you only need nunchucks, Mike? I have. I don't know where they are, though. I've uh, seen a set today, and you can screw them together to make a baton. Cool as hell. Uh, but I'm no ninja. <laughs> yes. Um, I have got some nunchucks somewhere. I don't know where the fuck they are. I've not seen them for ages. It must be in my loft. <laughs> Joseph said, Boris Johnson is preparing to introduce national lockdown restrictions from next Wednesday, according to the Times. 
in all honesty, I think it's probably about time, in it, if what they're saying is happening, it's happening. Sam today at Monday. Big Ped said, what's the pump in the corner, mate? Don't know much about them. That is a... Um, I can never remember all the info on it, but it's a Magtech shotgun. Made in Las Vegas. Or, manif or imported from Vegas or something like that. I think it's actually potentially Spanish, but then they import them to Vegas and send them there, or some shit like that. Um, now, I can't get it down, because I can't show... And it's locked up there anyway now. I'll knock all my guns on the wall now. Um... But yeah, I've always wanted a Diac pump action shotgun. Took me ages to get one. Uh, found one in the back of Gun Mart. Bought it straight away. I remember ordering it while I was at work. Um, I was doing flooring. Yeah. Over rung them up or um, filled out a thing. Put checking it. <laughs> yeah. Good shotgun, that. It's just jammed at the minute, though. But when I got it, it was jammed. It took me about a couple of weeks to get it going and it jammed again recently, but it doesn't matter anyway. So I said, I watched the live action version of Ghost in the Shell the other day. It was okay, but the anime was better. Yeah, sure, not bad, isn't it? Yeah, I totally agree with you. The um, the anime is better, isn't it? But it was all right, wasn't it? For, for yeah, I thought it was all right. It was worth watching, wasn't it, Dad? Is it made me laugh when I saw the Cold Steel Tanto Lightweight? They must have thought it looked futuristic. I missed that bit, I think. Oh, burned out rage, right, mate? Lewis said the intro to the anime is still iconic to this day. I'll have to watch that again soon. I ain't watched it for years. I've I've got that on the PSP. It was UMDs. Um, so I said, how does the new dono thing work? You just go on there, yeah. Um, click it, click support, buy me as many coffees as you want, and it goes straight to my paper. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, nothing more than that. You don't even need to sign on. You pay with paper, I think. I don't. Know, I don't know what the ways you can pay, Sparrow. But yeah. Um, it seems very easy if you've got the capability to do it. I don't, I'm pretty sure you don't need to sign in. You don't need to. You don't need to make accounts or anything. But yeah, I thought um, Ghost in the Shell was alright. A oh, nice one, alright. Are you following me on Instagram? And yeah, a oh, nice one, Matt. Yeah, I can see you come up there. Nice one, Matt. Yeah, he said you can see who I am now. Yeah, but that does, you know, as I say, that makes a difference for me for certain things. I've got all my things up now, Instagram, I'm on Twitter. Yeah, you know, I have to use all of those things to make sure I get as much of these videos shared out there. Is everyone liking the stream, by the way? Um, Joe says it's unopened and has the cardboard box with it. What's that, Joe? Oh, the camo bandage. Oh, nice. We'll try and miss that. Big B said, only animes I like, The Ghost in the Shell, Akira, Cowboy Bebop. Apparently, Netflix are going to make a Cowboy Bebop prequel. Um, that was a good bit of moderating for you, Tactical. Perfect. Um, you'll know what I'm on about. Uh, sorry, animes. All right, so, Akira, have you ever seen Golgo 13, The Professional? That's good. Um, you're up Sucker Doji and you're up Sucker Doji too. E Honda, you're right, mate. We'll have to wait till next week to do our joint one. You know, I'll invite you on. I didn't have time tonight, and also because net because tomorrow's one is going to be so fucking hectic. I thought I'd have a nice easy one tonight. How are you, by the way? But I had remembered. I just thought, ah, oh, it's going to be too much tonight. I was 15 minutes late for a start. But I think I did say to you last week, it might not be this week, it might be the next week. Fucking hell. These bloody... <laughs> if that was you, Sparrow, bloody hell, thank you. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I know, I saw it popped up, um, Sparrow, bloody hell. I am getting spot tonight. Fucking hell. All right, put it this way. I think when I came on here, I'd had 14 coffees bought to me, and I've had 62. 
basically each coffee that gets bought is a two pound donation. Thank you, Sparrow. Bloody hell. Did you see the other one? Go, Fro, you go on there and have a look how many I've had tonight. I think tonight there's been one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, okay, now. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it generally means a hell of a lot to me, though. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't know what to say. Other than that, thank you very much, everyone. Zed said, um, Blood the Last Vampire is pretty good. I think I've got that one, Zed. Just looking up there. And I've got Vampire Hunter. Um, yeah. Joe said, I'm so tempted to open it, but I'm not sure if it's rare or not. You know what, Joe? Ask on Liam's streams. He might be able to tell you. Wolf said it should be beer, not coffee. You know what, Wolf said? I would actually change it, but they only let you change it if you have the gold account. They say if you put if you get the gold account, you can change it to whatever you want. But I think if you have the gold account, you have to pay. Um, Steve said I'll donate something next month. Um, this month is pretty tough. That's all good, Steve. Thank you, though. I massively appreciate that as well. Yeah. Thank you, everyone who has and who would. Um, yeah. Because it generally does help a lot. Uh, and, the, uh, you know, I know I said it a minute ago, but all of the people who have donated, you have genuinely, and, and in all of the different ways people donate, um, you actually do generally, in my case, make the channel better. Slingshot said, you could nail aluminium plates to the end of the mallet. Very good idea. I could do that, Slingshot. A mallet wouldn't be too hard, and it, I could probably get the stuff for that reasonably easily. <laughs> Tats said a few more who may make him plus. <laughs> Zed said, have you watched Elite Battle Angel yet? No, no, no. I've not watched either yet saying that. Uh, what's Liam's channel? Liam, you on? If he's on, he'll pop up. Um, it's Weapons and Stuff 93, is Liam. Weapons and Stuff 93. They'll know all about that kind of stuff. Well, he might do anyway. He knows a lot about that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know who that one was from. Um, thank you, whoever just... Person begin... Person's initials who are... are I won't say no more than RC. Thank you, whoever that was. <laughs> Bloody hell, you better stop. <laughs> okay, now. Who's just clearing out his bank account tonight? <laughs> 70 coffees. Fucking hell. Oh, tonight I was going to say, you've given me 70 coffees. That's way too much. <laughs> Fucking hell. Well, there you go. I should, I'll make sure uh, tomorrow's live stream is extra special. <laughs> oh, when I said, yeah, sorry, I did, the, I did the classic thing, Joe, that Liam does on his streams by calling me Mike. And I, I sometimes have to say, I'm Mike. Because obviously a lot of people don't know who Mike is, you know, as you wouldn't have known who um, Liam was. Yeah, everyone who's donated tonight, thank you, though. There they are. Seeing shot said, I have a new video up. Oh, I'll watch that later as well. Sparrow said, Yeah, done a few more, mate. Um, <laughs> oh, dear, <on> coffee. <laughs> That's what someone said earlier, and I didn't get what I was on about. Who's off? Is Lewis off or? Um, well, I'm uh, way behind here. Oh, Lewis. Oh, you're off, Lewis. Good night, mate. Thank you. I appreciate that. He said, I'm, he said, I had to round up to 70. I'm off now. I have a good one. And then he said, it was it was a nice even 17. It's already gone up to 76. Like so. I don't want to push me luck and start saying, oh, should we get it up to 100? <laughs> Joking. See you later, Lewis. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. That wasn't a tear. <laughs> Wolf said Anglo Arms got a new pistol crossbow out um, with the new stock like the American Hellhawks things like that. yes did you remind me about did you message me about that today Wolf said or comment about that yeah so I looked at that I know I know how I know I think you mentioned it I also got a email yeah that's the same slingshots one isn't it the only interest the only issues with them I wonder if it is £80 because the only ones I ever knew that really was £80 them two um, 
and it's also got the old style trigger, sadly, like the old style trigger mechanism, which is the, the bit of string in a groove and it pushes it out. But it's got the, the extendable stop, doesn't it? It all depends what, yeah, that's it, the old style trigger, that's it. Um, yeah, trigger mechanism, which ain't as good as these, it's not as safe as these. Although it works, it, how, how much are they, Wilson? I'll look into them. It might be worth getting one. If they are powerful, and yeah, it might be worth, um, yeah, <laughs> that's that was my bad list. Things I said, um, I'll watch it after the stream. Wolf said, that said, I'm still waiting for the cold steel test. I was thinking about that the other day, uh, uh, weirdly enough. Um, Zed. yeah, a lot of them old ones. Wolf said they say they're 80 pounds, and then when you do a draw test on oh, the price you mean about 40 quid that's quite a lot, really. When you can get one of them for about that, isn't it? Um, Steve said, How much is the pull on the crossbows you have? These are about 75, yeah, seven, 75 pounds. These ones they claim to be 80. These old ones, this is a very, very old one. I can't get it down because it's all the little. little Unravel the fucking curtain thing, you know, the banner. But those old ones there, they claim to be 80. When I did draw tests on them, there was like 45 pound, really. So all of the old crossbows that used to claim to be 80 pound was nearly half the power they was really saying. I don't know how they, unless what they was doing when they measured them, they was pulling it too far. You know, maybe they just had the prod on something else separate pulled the string down double what it's supposed to be because they do not pull 80 pound. They nearly do. <clears throat> yeah, that's a right helmet. So I said, to be fair, about time you had a good dono link. Um, mine, the mini TI Tanto, uh, crossbow pistol, mate. Yes. Yeah, you'll get that. You'll get that, mate. Definitely. Um, I may have to get some more stuff because I've done all the ends for these. But, yeah, you'll get that. Don't worry about that, bro. Yeah, well, I, I do appreciate it. Um, but I know a lot of people do want to um, do it. Yeah, it is Andy having a, um, an actual uh, donation link that's just, like, literally two clicks and it works. YouTube bastards do me over on everything. I can't even do that. I can't do memberships. I can't do... Um, you know, super chat. Oh, well, fuck a minute. Dad said, maybe you could put a better prod on it. Oh, yes. Yeah, on these. Well, the issue is, Zed, the one we're talking about, it's a new crossbow, but it's it's basically just an old crossbow, really. Just, like, bought out and made to look new with a, with a sliding stock. But really, everything on it is the old stuff, not these new triggers and new sights and... Big Dave said, did you Slingshot Warrior, did I know Did I know Slingshot Warrior is going out as Mary Poppins for Halloween? No, I did not. I hope he, yeah, but she wasn't born in the 80s, was she? <laughs> Joe said, you should make a Discord server. You know what? I am on um, Discord, but I don't really know how to use it, in all honesty. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, Lewis said Tumbo doubled up the prods on the old ones. I think he did, yeah. Or like put a cut down one on, didn't he? Yeah, Tumbo had some proper decent videos on that, didn't he, Lewis? Um, yeah. Um, I thought I was looking over there. I was good. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think what his video was, but he went very in depth saying about the exact measurements to do it and everything. I think it was something like that, anyway, wasn't it? That's a Chinese test. They do the same on radios, claiming the power is a lot more than they put up. Must be, in it? So he sort of said, laughing at Dave, said, no, Dave, I won't be dressing up Halloween. No, I think, Dave, you meant his... Uh, oh, I thought you meant his Halloween... Not his Halloween, his birthday party. Joseph said, if you can churn out metal weight plates, you can make a right few quid with gyms closing again. Very good idea. Yeah, it's a new crossbow, but it's old, essentially, um, Zed. Steve said, can you imagine a pistol crossbow with um, a, a crankwin? Let me look that up, if that's what I think it is. Is that the one that goes over the top like that? Is that that thing? Let me look. 
Oh, it's like a fucking actual fucking wind up thing. Well, you can actually get crossbows with them, you know. You can get rifle crossbows, you know, full size crossbows with a little one on the side. But that's, yeah, that's like a ratchet thing, isn't it? Yeah. Things like said, I'll be dressing up as Hulk Hogan. Oh, you've got to show us that, mate. That'd be amazing. I cannot wait to see that. Do you mind showing us that thing when you do it? You're going to do a video of yourself like that? That'd be amazing. I'd love to see that. Oh, he has a goat's foot, the one over the top, isn't it? Joe said, I think I'll ask my neighbour tomorrow about the gas mask. Yeah, do it, mate. Do it. By the way, I'll probably stay on till 12 tonight. Um, we'll see how it goes. First time I looked at the clock tonight, and I noticed it's 11 already. So, yeah. Yeah, probably do a 12 o'clock or maybe. I ain't got nothing to do. Everything's ready for tomorrow. <sighs> Is everyone liking the stream? There's 34 people watching, 25 likes. <sighs> Irishman said to Slingshot, well, you have the ripped muscle physique to dress as Hulk Hogan. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we're going to get to see, uh, we're going to get to see Slingshot's guns. It's no pythons, in it? <laughs> what, um, what, um, <laughs> uh, what do you call them, calls them? Hulk Hogan calls them. There's always one, Steve. I think I think there's some people who don't like being told what to do. <laughs> so what I should say is don't like the stream and then they'll like it. But don't don't dislike the stream. Although it all works as the thing is, it all works as interactions anyway. So that, that proves someone watched it. So even people who dislike it are probably more likely to get sent the video. <laughs> Joseph says, one of my brothers had two pistol crossbows. I think one was called an imp and the other a sprite. I think they were made by Barrett's. Singshot said, yes, I do. Um, I grew up watching Hogan. So did I. So did I. Yeah. Yeah, we used to get all the American wrestling on over here. W w yeah, WCW, WWF as it was called then. <laughs> Ryan said, Mike, did you see all the fuss about the Oli like Titanium IT5 last night? No. What's that? Just been released or something? They've all been getting getting hard on for it or something. <laughs> oh like, good shit though, I'll tell you. Oli is very good, but um quite expensive really. I it's probably worth its money, but I I wouldn't I've had O lights, but I um not because I bought them. Joe said I will use a drop holster for my costume. <laughs> and things that said I will. Yeah, I look forward to that. I reckon that would be brilliant. Yes. And you're going to put her, um, I see, have a goatee, don't you? You're going to do a fake goatee. Yeah, I've got one. Um, I've got, yeah, just happened to have it here. I've got the really fucking expensive one. The PL fucking Pro. <laughs> more expensive than the gun <laughs> which I think is a bit overboard having a torch more expensive than the gun well my guns anyway uh, Steve said they're still less expensive than a streamlight are the streamlights expensive and I've had a streamlight I thought they was quite budget or do they do like a budget um, range as well still haven't done that yet I need to change those um I can't remember what they're called. The fucking uh, zip ties to black and glued that rail on. You know what? <laughs> fucking hell. I think I've had a hundred quid donated tonight. To try to work it out, the activity goes past the bloody page. Surefire, that's it. You're right there, Steve. You're right there. It is surefire. That was a whack. Whack that on again. But yes, I'm pretty sure. And that's really weird as well. I've got two subscribers. I won't say your name. Don't worry about that. I'll never give away anyone's real names. Um. 
it's just when people donate, it comes up with their obviously PayPal name. Um, there, there happens to be two people on here with the exact same names. Very, very weird. Simon said, hey, uh, uh, just got back from work. You all right, mate? Joe Green said, my dad's got a mag light and the battery's corroded and leaked so much it's eating a hole in the metal. Any cheap knives for tenner, check out uh, Prepper's Shop. Yes, there definitely is. You can get a, you can get a big fuck-off thing like that for um, tenner on there if you're over 18. Was it really ISIS to kill Tupac? It might have been. They was they was around back in that day, weren't they? Wherever he was. Um, where did he get shot? Vegas one. Or am I imagining that? <laughs> I know nothing about Tupac. Uh, Zad said, "By the way, if anyone moans about my stories tomorrow, just be glad I didn't send in <laughs> story of the, the haunting fart." Now I reckon they'll love them, um, Zed. Wolf said a pacifist disliked this stream. I reckon it was. Getting bloody notifications for something now. Um, where am I? But yeah, yeah, surefire. You're right there, Steve. Yeah, stream light. I've got a, I've got a little stream light pen light. And it's a decent little light. And I've been working for years. Um, that's the issue. I have noticed some brands are, are decent. But their torches don't seem to last more than a couple of years. You know, through night used to be like that. Quite often, after um, I don't know, I uh, two pack. You'll have to go and have a look on Amazon. I don't know if Amazon even sell knives now. They might have stopped because it's due to Amazon that they changed the knife delivery laws. What was I saying a minute ago? Steve said I meant to send in another couple of stories. I just didn't have the good pictures to go with them. Ah, you should have just done it. It's all right. It doesn't matter now, and I appreciate you doing it. Um, but I would say don't worry about pictures. I'll do all that. Um, yeah, that's where I've been. Yeah. But that's no, all right. We'd, I'll probably do this again next year. James said, try Knives Warehouse. Don't forget to get your merchandise in. I'll have to order. Oh, who out of you lot bought? Yeah, I'm going to show you my new shirt I've, I've designed. Have a look at this. Tell them what you think of it. Someone liked it because someone bought one of them. Some of you might have seen it. Hang on. I've designed a new merchandise shirt. You can get this in hoodie, t shirt, and vest. <laughs> So click on this and let me know. I asked. Uh, thank you, Tactical. Yeah, this go, This one goes straight to it. Wolf said, said um, I, said, I know Lord Stephen, mate, Blackpool lad. Um, sound grappler back in the day. Singshot said, or launching a midget out of the cannon, Dave. I've missed something. Oh, midget throwing. Should be an Olympic sport. Uh Steve said, a friend of mine gave me a surefire weapon light that also has an infrared capability. When you look it up, $700. Fucking hell. I've done a T-shirt that says, it's, it's basically a Trump. Um, oh, you like it, Steve? Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a Trump um, parody sort of thing. Not of Trump, though. It's an it's American election one. So it says, weapon collector, 2020, make weapons great again. And it's, all go, it's also got a Union Jack on it. Someone's bought one, but I don't know who bought it. Travis said, I've got an Inforce Airsoft knockoff. Um, runs a CR123. I've got a strange light in here that I've got given, but I've never set it up yet. It's it's a bit big for... Um, this was one of Liam's mates sent, sent me this. I've never put it on anything, but I may put it on a crossbow just to test it out. But this has got loads of bloody... Um, I think this has got... A flashlight, a laser, infrared, some kind of spotting thing for, um, you know, planes or summer, you know. I've never used it yet. It's got the bit for, you know, putting it on your trigger as well. Just a 
fucking um what the fuck is all this shit? There's something in the instructions. Well, I was gonna get the instructions out, I can't find them. I don't know anyway. Fuck it. But yeah, I've never used it. Oh yeah, here they are. Hey, you're right. You are right. Um Yeah, you are right. It's a PEQ or whatever it is. I have no idea about it. It's never been used. Advanced target point illuminator aiming light. Um, Lions, guys, I have to go now. A lot of fun together. Um, I'll have a look again later. Nice one, Lions, guys. Before you go, don't forget to go to my... Just hang on just one minute. Don't forget to go and do a reminder for tomorrow's live stream. Let me just post the link quickly. There's a bit where you can click it. Click it to do um, set reminder. Yeah. I hope that's the right video. Um, yeah, it's done. Sorry. Just try, um, yeah. That's a tactical part. I've been... Um, unexpectedly very impressive, Martin. I must say, what's that flashlight or something? I missed. Oh, Zed said I got an old ultra fire, cost me 199, 195 from Gear Best. I've had it for years and it's been dropped many times and even survived a good washing the machine. It's worked WD 40, it worked fine. Nice one, that sounds good. That, um, so I don't think I've ever had an ultra fire. Everyone's got their fucking suppers going by the looks of it. Matt said, I'm off now, Mike. I've set a reminder. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Good night, Matt. Yeah, get the reminder. It'll be on all night anyway, so if you missed the beginning, you can always watch the end, and if you don't see the beginning, you can always watch it uh, watch it tomorrow. or well, not tomorrow, the next day. Well, yeah, it says PEQ15 on the box. I thought you thought it was being clever. <laughs> Torted IEDC and that through night TC10. I've got the Streamlight uh, pen light. I've got loads of torches, but the ones I mainly EDC. Uh, two packs said, uh, Do I support football? No, I'm not into football. Never been into football. You know, I used to play football messing around as a kid, but never had any interest to watch it. Ryan said, sorry, I had to sort something with the missus out and missed some of the uh, some of the stream. The o -like Titanium sold out in literally two seconds. Funny seeing grown adults bitting the bad on a Facebook group. Ah, fuck's sake. Yeah, I bet. I can imagine. Some people have put them on eBay for 500 quid. Sam said he's got a 15,000 lumen dead torch. Fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah. Is it possible to make a non-lethal sticky slime gun? Um, possibly. I think they was going to invent something like that once, weren't they, um, Slingshot? That shot out a load of like heavy slime onto someone and it weighed them down. I'm sure I remember seeing that somewhere. I'm trying to think now. Uh, Sparrow said, if you're unsure about Discord, mate, why not get someone to make it and run it for your approval? And you can run everything past it. What you want to do? Even Liam could help with pointless. Um, I'll tell you my real main... There's two main issues with um, Discord. Um, one, it just seems too bloody complicated. Although I must be... You know, it's the only, it's the only website I've ever... You know, I say it seems complicated. I'm not really giving it a go. Because I've, I've made my own websites before, so I can actually do all that kind of stuff. The other main issue 
which is why I had to stop doing videos on Patreon, having like another thing where I've got to do stuff daily, it gets too much and it starts to take away from YouTube. Um, I used to do a load of um, extra videos for people who paid on Patreon, but it was getting so much that what would happen is I'd get up that day, have to do a Patreon video, and then I'd end up not doing, not saying you do that on Discord, but and then not doing what I should be doing on YouTube. Um, I'll look into Discord. I have got a Discord account though. But yeah, it, it gets a bit too much after a while for me because I have people messaging me on Twitter, Instagram. Can't message me on Facebook because I stopped that because that was horrendous. Emails. Yeah. And then I just never get round to people. No, Discord's literally just a way to really chat, isn't it? And you can voice chat and everything. <laughs> Steve said 50,000 lumens bleaches things out on camera in the forest. Great for desert, though. Wolf said, said slime as in the glue gun, a uh, glue slingshot. Um, Ted said, could you imagine the target's reaction if they didn't see the um, gun and you pretended to sneeze as you shot him? Oh, what, the slime gun, yeah. No, I don't think Discord pays. It's more like I think Discord was originally a way for like gamers to talk to each other easily, wasn't it? Um, as far as I get you, mate, the stuff we love uh, from you takes time on your part. All the um, gear and content makes sense. Yeah, I noticed because the thing is that that was people paying me on Patreon, and I had to say to them, "I'm sorry, I can't do it." I, you know, still still donate because you're still helping out the channel. But um, I just can't do the videos because it's taken away from actual YouTube. Yeah, it just, I've, you know me, it just, I'll tell you what happens. A lot a lot of it starts to feel, when there's, when there's too much coming in, it starts to feel like a chore. You know what I mean? You start to avoid it, start disliking it. Matt, you're right, mate. He said, Mike, do you ever take time out to meditate uh, and breathe? <laughs> um, I don't know what Wim Hold is. You've been on the old booze again tonight. You have to explain that one. But no, I don't know. Sometimes I do. I'll, I'll have a sit down and I'll think, yeah, I, I suppose meditate in my own way. Um, Jamie said, oh, no, I'll leave that. Well, no, I will read it actually. Going to Jamie said, my penis used to be in the Guinness World Records until I got chucked out of the library. I fucked that up because I, I read it wrong. In the Guinness Book of Records. Steve says, stick with something that you can make money at. But yes, I am. Um... <laughs> yeah, cheers, Dad. Probably be better not to bother with that one again. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? <sighs> I can't remember. I can't remember what I was saying now. Uh, James said, got an ultra fire. I use as a front light and a mountain bike. Never let me down in the weather. Some lights are overpriced. I'm using an infray, small Cree, free mode torch. Yeah, I, I set something like that up for my brother-in-law. Um, basically a flashlight on a thing. It's all good, Wolf said, by the way. It's just, yeah, that turned into a bit of a thing last time. Um, oh, nice one, Matt. He said, I want to tell you, Mike Horwich, that's it. Your channel has been a ray. <laughs> Why do you write Mike Horwich? I'm not, it's not my name, by the way. <laughs> um, you know, I want to tell you, Mike, your channel has been a ray of light and had mental health problems. Just want to say cheers. No, I mean, um, Wim Hof, that Dutch guy, who's the ice man. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. No. As I've said before, I get as much out of this as you lot. And, yeah, I appreciate it. And I'm, and I'm glad other people appreciate it. And I'm glad you get stuff out of it. Because um, I know exactly when people say these things, I know exactly how you're feeling there. Because this is like my night out. Um, I get to talk to a load of people. We can have a laugh. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Thank you. And I, I, I appreciate it. And I totally understand. Um, 
I've had a lot of donations tonight, tonight, Matt. If you didn't see, that, you know, I think I've had. <laughs> I can't believe it. In all honesty, I think I had a hundred quid donated tonight altogether. Wolf said, "Said I want to watch a good horror movie tonight. Any suggestions, new or old? Let me get my list of recently watched films, mate, and I'll let you know." Right, my recently watched films, horrors, right? Um, the Wretched, that's good. The Ritual. Um, Autopsy of Jane Doe. Um, and Antebellum. There you go. I'll write them down if you need them. Drag me tail's good. That's yeah, that's Sam Raimi, isn't it? Um, Bradley, you right, mate? Zed said, I always look forward to these streams. Thank you, Zed. As I say, I, I get the same out of it as you lot do, so I can appreciate when people say they they do enjoy it, and you know, it, I get the exact same thing out of it, so I know I know what you're saying. Big Pet said, I had a Barnet hand crossbow in '97. I'm going to Yellow Pages uh, from some metres away uh, back in the day. I bet that was good. The old Barnett was good. Steve said, you're on Liam's streams. are the only live streams I watch on a regular basis. I, they're the only ones I... Well, obviously mine. But, yeah, I only watch Liam's as well. Mr. Live here said, Autopsy of Jane Doe is supposed to be pretty good. It is. I would I would highly recommend Autopsy of Jane Doe. I... Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I wasn't sure about it at first. When I watched it, I thought it was excellent. <laughs> Simon's having his supper as well. A oh, lot of supper talk tonight. <laughs> oh, and I watched Tim Heidecker as I'm live stream, but he's a um, you know, he's a professional comedian. You know what I mean? Matt said there's a good series on Amazon with Nick Frost, Simon Pegg, and Malcolm McDowell called Truth Seekers. You know what, Matt? I'm a big fan of Malcolm McDowell as well. Uh, Matt said the chicken the autopsy and Jane Doe is bloody hot <laughs> I'm going to say no more about that we'll let them have a surprise but yeah look forward to a sexy lady Big Pets I sent you an Instagram picture of my um, of the hoodie uh, due to too many strong oh nice one let's have a look then is that what that um, I had a message Oh, one request. There you go. Accept. <laughs> nice one, Ped. That's excellent. Yes. He's got a picture of himself going like this with his hoodie on. Oh, fucking excellent, mate. Amazing. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> nice one. I need to get myself a hoodie. I've never had a hoodie of them yet. They look really nice. Bradley said, why'd you cover up the guns and knives? All right. In all honesty, I probably don't need to. I've seen other live streamers do live streams with guns in the background, firearms, no issues. The, the problem is, right, YouTube did a new thing where they say you're not allowed to handle firearms on live streams. Um, and because I have a habit of taking them down, I thought two things. I'll cover them up. They can never claim that I'm holding a gun or there's even guns there. And it will stop me me keep taking them down. Purely because it says on there, uh, even if I showed them and pick one up, it's not a firearm anyway. But how would a bot know that? And then you get, they get give you community strikes and you can't live stream. Um, but yeah, there's people who do risk it. But I don't because I don't want to risk losing the ability to live stream. Yeah, that's all it is really. Um, same shots that I just bought uh, Insidious the final key yeah I knew that how did I know that did you mention that somewhere else um, thing shot and who's watched the remake of Part of Ghost I haven't don't see why they bothered oh I was going to say it's not bad is it not bad then oh, I might give it a go um, Wolf says I didn't know they did a remake the only thing I I actually call you know the 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 
what's his name? I can't remember. What's the bloke in? What's the evil bloke in um, Poltergeist? I've always called him the Peter Geist because <laughs> he's the pedo ghost, don't he? So he's the Peter Geist. <laughs> I can't remember his name now. Kane, was it? Yeah, Kane, Peter Geist. He must be if he's after little girls, don't you know I mean? He's the Peter Geist. You're off, Joseph. Good night, mate. Burned up, Ray said. Thanks for the show, my friend. Well, thank you for watching. Um, Matt said, Mike, do you remember the first time you watched Clockwork Orange? Oh, I, I don't know. I think I watched it when I was drinking originally. So that's quite hard for me to remember. Uh, I think we used to watch that on DVD drunk. Not DVD, VHS drunk. Dad said, um, what's the bet in Halloween? On to yes, exactly. I'm disappointed if it's not. I don't watch it, but I'm disappointed if it ain't on. But last couple of years, I've always watched a Halloween film on Halloween night. Um, yeah, don't matter which one it is. That's it, Kane, the old Peter Ghost. Bradley said, you two are so stupid now. It's just, wow, exactly. Sam said, another great horror film. It, the new one. Yeah, I saw the, the new It in cinema. I haven't seen part two yet, though. Oh, Kadabs, I'm thinking of Japanese film where the broadcast a zombie movie on live TV. Don't know what that one is. Um, Archetub. Steve said, have you watched The Haunting of Blind Man? No, but that's been highly recommended to me. James says, can you still buy metal CO2 pistols? Yes, you can. No issue. And they look completely real as well. Yep, I've got one just there. That's a metal CO2, you know, fully realistic um, pistol. So is that one there. But yeah, you can, yeah. Joe said, do I have any, um, do I have any US military gear? I don't think so that I know of. Wolf said, I started the X-Files again on Amazon. Bloody used to love um X I did, actually. I used to love um. X-Files. That's not quite horror, but I enjoyed the others. Yeah, the, the others was good. Wolf said, did you get my um, recommendations that I said? Do you want me to say them again quickly? So, Antebellum. Um, the Autopsy of Jane Doe. The Ritual. And The Wretched. Matt said, have you ever been stoned listening to Toto Africa song? I don't think so. Do you know what? For some reason, whenever we used to get stoned, never used to listen to music. Maybe a little bit Bob Marley. But I can't remember ever listening to music stoned. It used to always used to be films with us a lot. One of the best stoned times I ever had was when Channel 4 did Pot Night. They even changed the logo to Channel 4 to Marijuana Leaves. And all night it was all, you know, mar marijuana related um, films and shit. That was a really good night, that. Spent the whole night smoking, you know. I don't know when that would have been. Eight, 98, 96, something like that. <laughs> yeah, Bob is that sort of. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Live here said, music is great when you've had a smoke. I do like, um, I like listening to music drunk. That's what I do when I come in. I have a good drink and then I come in at about two or three o'clock in the morning or later. And then I'll end up sitting up till eight o'clock in the morning, still drinking and um, listening to music. <clears throat> it's the only time I listen to music at the minute. Dad said they might re-show Ghost Watch tomorrow. The BBC show that frightened the shit out of hundreds of viewers. It did me. I was, I was a little kid at the time, Jed, and I thought that was real when that came out, Ghost Watch. I'd love to watch Ghost Watch again. <clears throat> Archetype Googled it. One cut of the dead. Oh, I've heard of that. Is yeah, that good then, Archetype? That was, I was one of them till I realised. Dad said, yeah, me too. It quickly went over the top. Yeah. Look up when that was, Zed, and I'll tell you how old I was. Matt said, Stacey and I got mashed on weed muffins Tuesday. Um, we were child-free. It was like the old days. I would love to be able to get 
stone still. I can't now, though. It just don't agree with me. Um, like my mental state doesn't go with marijuana. It fucking yeah, I'd love to though. But I hope you had a good time. Sounds good. Mister Live here. So I haven't had smoke in years, but might get one for the election. Should be a laugh, no matter what happens. Exactly. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, ghost! What is on your ghost playlist? I'll, I'll look into that. Dad. I thought I could probably get it again. Oh, 1992, I was 12 then. I thought I was younger than that. James said, nice one, Mike. I'm wanting to buy a Tang Photo Witness 1911 Cult 45. Yeah, you can get that. No issues. You might have to... What you have to do now, James, is go to somewhere like Pell Packs. And what you have to do now... You, what is... They're not allowed to sell you... They're not allowed to send you a gun in the post. So what they do now, it'll cost you a bit more. There's two options. You either have to get the gun sent to your local firearms dealer, then you go and pick it up. So that'd be your local gun shop, tackle shop, whatever. Or pay an extra 20 quid and the firearms dealer will bring it to your door. So it, it's a it's an option. That's what I would do. If I ever need a new air rifle, I'll just buy it on somewhere like Pellbacks that do the home delivery service. Um, I don't mind paying an extra 20 quid if that's what you have to do nowadays. That's water for anyone else. Matt said, Mike, apparently foxes have the rights to uh, pipes. The ghost thing goes, does that, does that come up in that? That's like sake. Bradley said, uh, see you all, it's dinner time. See you later, mate. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to go on that thing. Don't forget to click this link. Go to the video. This is to everyone watching who hasn't already done it. Go to tomorrow's video and click reminder. It'll be on at 10, by the way, and it won't be late. It'll be smack bang 10 o'clock. Swing shots said, remember that horror film about those little creatures in the basement of a mansion? What would that be, Slingshot? I'm not sure. Joe said, I like your homemade knives. They're quite good. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Seeing as I've been donated about 100 quid tonight, I might look into seeing if there's anything I need for the channel. If not, I'll get a load of stuff for making stuff that I need. You know, um, blade blanks. Um, I won't spend it all on that, but yeah. But stuff the chat stuff that I want for the channel. I did want. Uh, there's a question for you. What do you not think of the quality of the camera I use in the shed? Honestly, I think it's a bit shit, really. But it's it's the best I've got because I can't afford to take my good camera in the shed because it probably get fucked. The one I use is adequate, isn't it? I don't think it's worth upgrading that. Well, thank you, Joe, by the way. Tactical said, you going, you're going to see Wendy tomorrow, mate. I wouldn't blame you. Might do afterwards. <laughs> Steve said, slingshot. What's that, the little green things? I was thinking maybe he was on about. I've got... Um, Wait a minute. The Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2. Is it this slingshot what you're on about? Uh, Matt said it's good. It does the job. Miss Livy, I sent the camera's fine. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah. I just wondered. <laughs> uh, Sparrow said always found shed cam was more than acceptable. Yeah, because it's, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for shed stuff, isn't it? And, um, yeah. Well, all right. I'll keep that for now, then. Zed said, fuck, the BBC have blocked it, miserable bastards. I bet I'll be able to find it somewhere, Zed. I bought this recently. Um, I was getting into found footage films. Not found footage films. No, yeah, no, time travel films. And I, I could not find this film anywhere. I couldn't get it download anywhere at all. And I ended up getting desperate and ended up buying it on Blu-ray because it was the only place I could buy it. This one, Salvage. 
but it's I don't know if it would be any good or not. If it ain't any good, don't let me know. Um, because I've not watched it yet. But it's a time travel film, like a time loop film. But it ended up being a tenner for two Blu-rays. So I thought that's not that bad. Um, for two Blu-rays. And then I because the problem is that film has got three different names. So in America it's called Salvage. I think in Australia it's called Gruesome. And in the UK it's called Loop or something. I ended up finding it on DVD afterwards called Loop. Three fucking quid. It doesn't matter. I'd already ordered it. Joe said you should add some music to your intro. I might do that one day. Great Britain. Hello. How are you? Tax said a milling machine saves you um, hacksaw and drilling guards, etc. Yes, yeah, so that would be a good point. Don't know if I'd be able to afford that, though. Tactical. But yes, that would make a hell of a difference. Steve said... Um, I don't think it was The Ghoulies. I remember we watched it in the late 70s. I don't know then what that film is. Good to know that the um, shed cam's all right there. That's all. I remember you recommending the Spanish time travel ages ago. It was like, yeah, ta time crimes. That's probably my favourite time travel film <coughs> and the one that got me obsessed with them. I've always liked um, time travel films, but that Spanish one, yeah, Time Crimes, um, it was so clever and sort of, um, it was the first I'd seen like that, <coughs> where <coughs> where it was looping over. So you're seeing bits from before, later on and stuff, and bits you saw earlier was then happening later. I love them kind of ones, because they're actually quite difficult to do and, and not fuck up with like a um, time paradox. Sing Sot said there was a remake of it with Katie Holmes. It's not the Ghoulies. Do you know what it's called yet, then, or not? Yeah, go and have a look, Sling Sot. <coughs> uh, Steve said Turner Classic Movies has been playing old B movies all day, mad scientist type stuff. Nice one. I watched some of them years ago. I, I was a teenage werewolf, um, The Fly. The thing from another planet I've never got around to watching. Um, but yeah, Frankenstein. Right? There's a load of nutcase old films like that, isn't there? So I have to admit, I do like the old Vincent Price horror movies. A lot of them are very good, the old stuff. Good in their way. You know, they are well done for how they're done, because they obviously didn't have the kind of Special effects they got nowadays. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting a dry throat again. <sighs> so everyone doing tomorrow in the day? Got anything planned in the day? <coughs> I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow. Um, in the day. Nah, I ain't got a clue. Nothing. Might watch some films myself. Who's ever seen the film? Oh, probably one of the worst films I've ever seen. Alone in the Dark. Are you getting ready to van, are you, Matt? Alone in the Dark. That was so bad, I started falling asleep halfway through that. Oh, is it raining tomorrow, Sam? Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do in the day tomorrow. Um, Steve said probably get him Get, I'll get your daughters tomorrow. Um, yeah. I've spent most of my day today looking after my niece and nephew. <laughs> Shit, wasn't it, Matt? Yeah, I started falling asleep halfway through it. It must have been bad, because I never fall asleep. <clears throat> Dead, so I have to go shopping tomorrow for food. Snacks and stuff for myself during the stream. Nice. It's got, I'll tell you what, I don't want to keep going on because I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, but I genuinely think it's going to be really good. I'm really excited for it. Um, yeah. Yeah. It should be decent. <laughs> Tactical said, I'm um, going to. Rewatch The Crow. I don't think I've ever seen The Crow. Weirdly enough, The Crow keeps popping up in my recommendations. So I might give that a go one day. 
Yeah, that, that, yeah. Alone in the Dark, the game was better. Steve said, Creature from the Haunted Sea was the worst horror movie I've ever seen. I haven't seen that one. <clears throat> it's a bit horror for you. Be prepared. Oh. Bone sticking out that end. Some kind of bite from some kind of animal. Matt said, Mike, can I trick or treat at your house? Just as Red Riding Hood. <coughs> Maybe. I think you'll be answering the door tomorrow, though. He looks hot. <laughs> I'll get you on the security cameras. That'll do. James said, I'll be re re replacing the front and rear brakes and pads on the wife's car for the MOT. It must be MOT season at the minute. My brother's out to do the, the lorry at the minute. Fuck, the amount of shit he's been out to do. Steve said that and Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I think I've seen... What's the one with George Clooney in it? Is it Return of the Killer Tomatoes? Or is it the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Simon said, I, I do technical and my mate asked if we had any ball bearings for his catapult. Uh, he gets wazzed off with the squirrels. I sorted him some and asked if he could get a meal out of the couple. Yes, good idea, Simon. Yeah, I like a bit of squirrel. It won't go too much into food because it's late. But um, yes. <laughs> that a cheers, Matt. I'd like to sleep tonight. <laughs> got that kind of image in your head. Oh, you imagine. I've got a very vivid imagination. I imagined him with this fucking high up fucking like mini fucking skirt thing on with a red ride and ah, oh, have to wash my eyes out later. Oh, well, well, that that's where the drink comes in. So I could wash my brain clean. <laughs> <laughs> Sam said sleep is overrated that I have not been sleeping very good lately I think I got slight sleep out near back but I'm getting on top of it I'm already eating healthily and doing a lot more exercise yes exactly tactical <laughs> Zed said I saw a hand like that in a stew in Conan Barbarian Hand stew made me laugh, that did. Um, it didn't go down too well in the cinema, for fuck's sake. Don't what, that don't register with me, that bit. This has run out. I love Conan Barbarian, though. By the way, talking about things like that, I will, I will eventually... Come back with the film club. It's just at the minute, I don't know, I just don't ever seem to get time to do it or motivated to do it. Steve says, I'll tell you why, it's probably because I've been doing so much of that knife stuff. I've just been, my circumstances at the minute, I like to get in the shed as much as possible just to, it's just, just the only thing I sort of really enjoy doing because it takes my mind off everything. You know what I mean? But if I have any bothers, like, my meditation is going in the shed making something. Steve said, lately, uh, when I've gone to bed, I sleep really deep for about an hour. I wake up and can't get comfortable for hours after. I'm, when I say my sleeping has not been good, I actually go to bed very quickly and, and as far as I'm aware, sleep all night. With that sleep apnea, though, you're snoring so much, you're waking yourself up slightly, but you don't actually know you're doing it. Um, but yeah, and then you keep being tired in the day. That's what every day I keep about eight o'clock. I start falling asleep, which is not normal for me. Might not be sleep apnea, but I've got a couple of symptoms that I reckon it is. It just I just got to lose weight again. That's all. Lone Wolf said, "Shall I make a video of all my horror Halloween stuff?" Do please, Sam. Yeah, do it. That'd be excellent, mate. I'd watch that. Yeah, do it. I'd like that. Yeah, yeah. Go on, mate. Ted said, um, it was when we were creeping around in the in the harem thing. They were feeding the wenches with it. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah, I must have missed that bit. Jamie said, I um, started walking three miles a day to try and get fit. I had to give it up, but I got so far away from my ass, I couldn't get back. <laughs> in all honesty... Right there, I've got an exercise bike, and I do use it. Um, 
I used to go for late night walks, but I just can't be asked without bollocks at the minute. <coughs> um, but that does help massively. Been a good old stream tonight. Be on for about another 15, I'll let go off. I might watch a film myself tonight. Steve said, I have a lot of Halloween Halloween props. But if I set them up, I'll do it on Halloween, take them back down Halloween night. That's the only thing with Halloween over here. Uh, it's a pity for, for like you. I know, but you are, Steve, you are American. Don't you, don't you leave yours up all month? I was going to say in America, you leave them up all month, don't you? Um, <coughs> in England, you literally put them up Halloween you know, morning, take them down the next night. We don't do no more than that. Dad said, bloody rain wakes me up. And the other night, uh, the other night, once I woke up, that's it, I'm awake. Yeah, luckily, I can get back to sleep most of the time. Dad said, I've read so much about the evils of drink and I've given up reading. <laughs> Matt said, Mike, do you think the pedo in the local woods is dead now? Get a punch bag, Mike. It's fun functional exercise. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I did make a punch bag once. I could probably make one if I wanted to. Um, I don't know. Matt, I bet he'd be on that kind of age. He would be getting there. Yeah, he'd be the kind of age that he might be getting there. Um, hang on. Uh, it was us. Uh, hang on. Sparrow, I've got to sign in a Discord to do it. I would give you it right now. The issue is I've not signed in to – let me just see if I can – no, it's not even coming up the thing to – um. You know when you got your, you just click it and your email comes up. I sign in later and I let you know because at the minute I can't even, I don't even know what my, um, can't remember what my email was from the Discord, and it has that two-factor fucking thing now. <coughs> Jamie said, Mike, if you go trick or treating, you should definitely uh, go to very Dudley. Uh, Sam said, leave my Halloween stuff up all year. <laughs> then so I found a weapon. I made a weapon out of old style broom handle, small tenon saw, filed off for um Oh nice one, Mr. Live here. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I can't even sign in at the minute. There you go, Sparrow. Uh small hand tenon saw, filed off the blunt teeth, sharpened the razor head. That sounds good, James. Do you do videos? Zimbabwe, you're right, mate. I should have a new dog. She's a Dutch herder. Nice one. That's good, that. Yeah. Congratulations, mate. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's going a bit now. So he said, no, I set stuff out early one year and I caught somebody trying to steal something. Uh, I, yes, I see your point there, then. <coughs> if people are trying to nick, nick it, yeah, I wouldn't either then. There you go, Sparrow. It's been posted twice for you now. I'll be honest with you, though, Sparrow. I haven't actually signed into Discord for two months or more. Because Liam always jokes about it. I'm a moderator on Liam's Discord. I don't know if I've ever done anything on it, ever. <clears throat> yes, I'll, I'll be honest with you. You might be better off. Um, I'll tell you the easiest way to get hold of me. Twitter. Because Twitter's got a... Um, Twitter's got an instant messenger that, that works really good, works instantly. But genuinely, if you want to get hold of me quick and easily, Twitter. Yeah. Because also, I do Twitter anyway, so it's not like I'm having to sign into an extra thing. That's the issue. If it's something I feel like I have to sign in to something I don't use, it don't get used very often. Instagram gets used because I go on there to have a look at stuff. Um, Facebook, but I had to get rid of the messenger on that because it was just fucking relentless. Power last time said, Can you dress up as me? As long as you've got the merchandise to go with it. <laughs> yes, you can if you want. Only, yeah, only if you go to this. Nah, it's all right, Palace, Palace Times. We just have to, um, you know. Where was I? 
yeah, Twitter. If you want to message me quickly and easily, Twitter's the best place. Um, I would recommend people get Twitter. See you later, Palace Times. You're welcome here. You can have a chat with us if you want. <laughs> <clears throat> Steve said, by the way, Mike, on your Discord, the pictures I sent you are a place called Octagon Hall. We're going back there next week for a ghost hunt. We'll be camping out uh, if it's not raining. Nice. But I may see them eventually. I don't know if you heard me saying that then. Yeah, the problem with um, Discord, I very rarely go on there. I've actually not signed in on it for like two months. But um, if people let me know that they are, I'll, I'll try and sign in. Yeah, um, Twitter is the easiest thing for me. You can send pictures and videos on there. Um, I know a lot of people don't have Twitter, but you know, if you want to, if you want to download Twitter just to message me, then that's quite. It's a good, convenient way to do it for me, anyway. But I will check it out. Seeing as the Sparrow and Steve has. Um, <coughs> message me on there Matt said Mike for sleep try listening to an audio book called The Blade uh, The Blade itself first law is that what it's called alright I'll try to check that out Sparrow said do you have your own channel on Discord Mike no I never bothered um, Sparrow I just just signed in made that account <laughs> and as I said I didn't really know what was even going on on there Steve said, I think we were talking about cameras and I was telling you about the pictures my wife had taken on her phone. Yes, you did. I remember you saying now. James says, sadly, I don't do videos. I like my privacy too much and lack the confidence publicly. Although I could, as I'm very handy with tools, not bad with weapons and stuff like that. Yeah, I know what you mean. I never used to do... When I used to do videos, I never used to show my face. Um, but then I showed my face to do like a thank you video. And then just thought, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just carry on now. But I never ever used to show my face, ever. Um, Jamie said, what time will we be on till tomorrow? As I won't be home till 11. Yeah, I've, I don't know definitely, Jamie, but I think it's going to go till at least 20 to 1. Working out the amount of stuff there is, and if I do like a certain amount of minutes between each bit, talking... I reckon it's going to go till, um, yeah, 12.40. Uh, Simon said, fuck me, it's nearly midnight and I'm on the market in the morning at 6. <laughs> Not bad for 6 years old, so yeah, bloody hell. Yeah, so you ain't going to get much sleep tonight, then, tonight then, Simon. <laughs> bloody hell. Yeah. Yeah, flies, doesn't it? Yeah, I've only, I'll tell you how I know I'm having a good night, because I, I've only looked at the clock, I think, twice all night the clock on my PC. And that's how I know it's good. Um, yeah. Because you don't even know to look at the clock. <sighs> but no, I don't blame people for not doing videos if they don't want to. Um, all of my videos originally, when I had my other channel, so I've been on YouTube probably since about 2005, I think. Um, and I did this one, 2007, 2008, something like that. Uh but I used to have a channel which I used to upload things like um, clips from TV shows, a lot of Stephen King stuff. I used to have loads of, I used to have, um, my channel used to have all of Stephen King's cameos from all of his, you know, all the films he's in. People used to love them videos. They used to get quite a few views. Then I uploaded some videos. It was ripped videos, the actual VHS, of these blokes testing guns. And at that point, I'd also made my weapon collector account because a lot of the knuckle duster videos was getting a lot of views. Someone said to me, you ought to make a, a channel just about your um, weapons. So I did. So I had two accounts. The other account, I didn't sign in it for about two weeks, went back on it, and it had had a load of copyright claims on them videos, and they shut the whole channel down. <laughs> my fault. Don said, I've been around almost two years on uploads. <coughs> Tuck said, I don't show my face on camera, hence uh, what I look like on tomorrow's video. Yes. 
<laughs> There's not a lot of have shown. If you look on... Um... Wait a minute. What am I going for here? How oh, this? Uh, people who showed their face. Uh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of 18 showed their face. Or six out of 16 showed their faces. Yeah. Jim Barboy said, can I ask what has happened to the wall of weapons? Is it so YouTube sent? Is it so YouTube censorship? Yes, it is, Jim Barber, yes. So the weapons are still there behind the banners. But um, what happened was, I could probably get away with it, but I just don't, um, I just don't trust YouTube. I'll explain in a second. Um, so, yeah. Just to, just so I don't get in trouble with uh, YouTube and because I don't trust them, uh, I now cover them up. Yes, I can wear a. Uh, can you wear ski masks on YouTube? I think you can. I don't know if I should, though. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, because uh, Electro does. Uh, so, anyway, Jim, what happened was they. Um, They did a thing saying you're not allowed to hold firearms on live streams. And I, and because I don't trust YouTube, because it says these are just some of the reasons to not do it. Or these are some these are just some of the examples why we could shut your channel down, basically, they say. I don't trust the bastards. So just to cover my ass and so that them cunts can never say anything. Just do that. Um because there are loads of people who do live streams with guns in the background, proper firearms as well. But it's up to them if they want to risk it, you know. I would just rather cover myself 100% so it definitely can't get fucked up. <clears throat> Whereas if they want to risk it, they can risk it. Um, Jamie said, we'll never order from Domino's again. He said, I ordered a thin crust supreme and I got sent Diana Ross. <laughs> That's because they're all good, so I'm not the only paranoid one. No, there's loads of you. Ten out of, yeah, most of them didn't. Most of them didn't. Irishman said, will there be any 18 paranormal stories on tomorrow's videos? Um, I don't know if they are or not, in all honesty, Irishman. No one goes massively... Um, I, uh, I don't know, Irishman. I, I can't... I try to think whether any of them was. Um... I wouldn't let kids watch them, put it that way. I certainly wouldn't want kids watching these videos, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Oh, you saying, will there be 18 paranormal stories? Not over 18, you mean 18. Yes, there's 18 stories, yes. I think 18 or 16. Um, I, sorry, I, I thought you meant 18 rating. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Saying that, I think there's 15 stories and one's something else. Um, yeah, 15 stories. So 16 altogether. Yeah, sorry, I meant are they over 18 rating? Um, yeah. It's, I'll tell you a lot, Irishman, it's going to be nearly three hours long. Matt said, Mike, I'm thinking of building my wall of consolidors. Uh, but my wall, <laughs> my house will be too small. Fuck's sake. Just the multiple walls then. Like on the ceilings. I got tempted to hang my Bren gun on the ceiling once, so I had no room. And then I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't want that fucking dropping on you. <coughs> Steve said, didn't that stem from some YouTuber accident shot him? I'm not sure. I've heard two theories. One, it was that. And one, it was that um, New Zealand mass shooting that was live streamed. <laughs> I don't actually know. Joe said, who was the YouTuber that did that? If you mean who shows guns in the background, I know English shooting does, and there's a couple of American ones that do. But as I say, it's up to them. If they want to risk it, they can. I don't want to lose my ability to live stream because it, I'd also lose my whole entire income. Um, and they obviously trust YouTube. They obviously trust YouTube to, um, you know, let a bot, 
decide whether what you're holding's a gun or not. Whereas I don't. I do not trust YouTube enough to not ban me because I held up a fucking, you know, a knife or something stupid, you know, <clears throat> or something that looked like a gun. But at least if it isn't a gun, I can appeal. Uh, I, I look forward to watching that. Steve said, I don't know. I saw something about it on another YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't know either. I, I've never known. But it seemed to happen after that um, New Zealand shootings. <laughs> that said, good idea. Good answer. Zed said, you mean they'll make ghost watch look like a comedy? Uh, I better get some nappies. Guess I need them then. <laughs> They're good. I'll tell you, they're good. Um, I wouldn't let kids watch them, put it that way. But there's probably nothing overly described in them. I think it's all, the thing is, down to your imagination. And it all depends how much of an imagination the kids got, I suppose, done it. But, yeah. But as I say, it should make a good video. Um, good live stream. Steve said, Estonian um, soldier used as a rifle in the background. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. A lot of people do, and it's up to them. Uh, maybe, some people probably don't even know it's an issue, that you shouldn't be doing it. But um, I just have a real paranoia with YouTube after they... I got a community strike for showing either that or that blank fire on a video, which is not even against their terms and conditions. I got a community strike for that, and they said... Um, Because I got that community strike. At the time, I wasn't allowed to live stream for six weeks for getting a community strike for something that's not even against their terms and conditions. So because of that experience, I don't trust the bastards. They'll see one of these and they'll fucking... Um, yeah. Um, Sparrow said, the reason I asked, I'm currently putting a channel together for you on Discord. Um, I want you to have a look. And if you're happy, I'm going to pass the ownership to you so you can just run it or the mods i oh, thank you bro i'll look into that and as i said I don't know if you heard i'll i'll give it a go if it seems to be too much though i may end up not going back on it but um it's just because there's so much stuff i have to do online it gets a bit much after a while especially because some of them are very you know they're, they're well used don't they sort of thing but thank you bro i'll look into that once, once you've done it let me know and i'll um I'll sign in and see. But I do appreciate that. But yeah, problem is a lot of the time it just, it starts to, it becomes a lot of, you know what I mean? Because YouTube, it's all day replying to things because you don't want to ne neglect things. Mr. Live Era said, you can get a strike now for having the wrong video in your watch later players. Did not know that. That's mad. Stark said, a weapon pack to Discord would be pretty cool. Do you know, I had my own forum once, but I had to abandon that. I had to abandon that, though, because I suspected we was... <laughs> it was getting a bit too dodgy. <laughs> Stark said, a weapon pack to Discord would be pretty cool. I've read that, didn't I? Yeah, go ahead, Sparrow, and I'll, I'll do it, but I can't promise you I'll sign in very often. Stug, I'm just going to read that out again. So I read it out a third time. Stug said, a weapon collect to Discord would be pretty cool. All right, I'll stand a little bit longer if I'm quiet. It's 12 now. Matt said, Mike, what do you think were the golden age of YouTube before it was big business, corporate cat? Yeah, before they... um, YouTube was best before they changed the algorithm, pretty much. That's what fucked everyone over. Like loads, of, loads of channels were fucked over. Massively mine. Um, when they changed their algorithm. Because if I could show you my stats, right? So from, I'll, I'll try to show you on here. So just like on the bottom here. So <clears throat> when I first started my channel, it was just, that'll be, what way is it? I've got to get the, this is when it comes to I do this. Right. So it was growing and growing and growing and growing and growing steadily, steadily, steadily. And then that algorithm kicked in. And it just goes straight down like that. And even eight years later, or however long it's been, it's still not as high now as it was in my first year of YouTube. Yeah, that's how badly they fucked me over. Yeah. 
So put it this way, I used to get more views when I had a thousand subscribers than I do with 32,000 subscribers. They're bastards. Um, but you can actually see it on the statistics. If you do live, live, um, you know, uh, all time views or whatever, lifetime views, yeah, going up and up and up and up and up, steadily rising, shoot straight down to pretty much nothing. And it's rose up a little bit over like five or six years, not even as high as it was in my first year. Tactical said YouTube should be called Vesta <laughs> Strike Anywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, before Google bought it. James said, power packs don't deliver to my area due to new laws here. Only to um, registered firearms dealer. When you need proof and reason for having a realistic firearm. What was you buying then, James? Was That shouldn't be an issue. That's weird. And that's a shame. Where do you live then, James? Or are you in Scotland or something? That shouldn't... Oh, that's weird. You shouldn't need to have proof for it. No, not proof. You shouldn't need to have a reason for it. Put it that way. You do not have to have a reason for a realist farm unless you're buying a replica. If you're buying a CO, what did you want to buy, James? Oh, Scotland, that's probably the issue then. Sorry about that, mate. Yeah. You, I'll tell you what you'd have to do. There are quite a few Scottish viewers on, actually. Some of them may be out to help you there. I don't want to suggest you break the laws, but unless you've got it sent to some an English mate and then they send you it up. <laughs> Theoretically, that's just me thinking out loud. That's not a suggestion. Oh. Cheers, all. Yeah, cheers again for the shits and giggles. Yeah, it's been good, isn't it? That's <laughs> right. I'm Scottish. What's the query? Oh. Um, how could he? He wants to buy. I can't remember what he said he wanted to buy. <coughs> I better go off in a minute as well. Two hours, 21 minutes. That'll be that prepare me for tomorrow. We can go that long easily then. So if you all done your um, reminder, if not, 10 o'clock tomorrow. If not, just watch it next day. Hopefully, if a lot of people view it, you should start getting... Um, it should get spread about quite a bit. Yeah, you never know, James. It's, a, it's an option, isn't it? I don't want to say, you know, um, it's an option for you. I don't really know, though. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the, the legal issues potentially to that would be. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I better go off now because it is quite late. Uh, the people are in bed and I've actually got some shit to clear up in here. The next stream tomorrow, Joe, is tomorrow. And yeah, <coughs> click this link. When I go, <laughs> sorry. <coughs> when I go, click that link and then click reminder. And also, if anyone wants to quickly uh, donate to the cause before I go, um, go to this. And buy me a coffee. For each coffee you buy, it puts two pounds straight in my paper, which will go towards the channel. You're right, sheep stranger, so I'm just about to go off. You've literally just caught me just as I'm going. Um sorry, Joe, I don't know what you mean there. Yes, buy him another blade blank, exactly stuck. You know what? I've had about under quid donated tonight. I think Lewis, Lewis and the Sparrow denoted about 70. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Um, yeah, I better go off. I'll just, uh, I'll just leave that out there for a bit. Yeah, thank you, everyone. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, and hopefully, or not hopefully, it's going to be a good night, trust me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, see you all tomorrow. Um. Fridays and Saturdays, Joe, I always, unless I've been invited out to have a drink or something, which I don't do weekly anyway, um, Fridays and Saturdays, I do them 9.30 till whenever, basically. I normally do about two hours, but um depends on how much, you know, how much fun we're having. <laughs> it's a late one like tonight. 
Oh, throat's going. I've been talking for so long. <coughs> right. See you all tomorrow. Hope you enjoy it. I think you will. Um, don't forget to view till the very, very end when it actually physically stops. Because unless it actually physically stops, it may not have ended. I'm warning you there. All right? So you don't want to miss nothing. So if you think it's ended, it ain't ended till it's actually ended. All right? Does that make sense? <clears throat> You'll know when it's ended. Because it'll proper end. All right? <clears throat> all right. See you all tomorrow. Thank you all for the donations and everything. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll get some good channel stuff out of that. See some more uh, lives coming soon. See you later, everyone. Good night. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. <laughs>